my brain isn't connecting. This is a this is just a trumpet with a mute on it. <laughs> my brain hasn't connected. It's kind of like oboe. Like what kind of jazzy solo uses an oboe? A couple of them probably. Three, two, one. My claps are getting weak. Sorry. Welcome to the stream! Hello everybody, welcome to the stream, it is the b and stream today on this fine 29th of January 2024. I hope you're having a wonderful week, we'll have a wonderful week ahead of you. My week has been fairly alright because I have achieved momentous glory. Gains far beyond one's mortal understanding. And I shall talk about it later on the stream, I guess. Uh, for now, let's boot it up, ladies and gentlemen, into the Quake 2. What? Wah. Easy. Uh, so on the last stream, we did the final of the 1998 released expansions to Quake 2. And on this stream, we are now getting into the 1999 released console Quake 2 64. As a nice little fun bonus uh, for something that the PC players did not necessarily get to play. But uh, I don't think they really had to play. It sort of relives the game in a bit of an interesting way. We have... Quake 2 64, starting off with uh, the wonderful recreation. Oh my gosh, I need to look up who made the various console versions of Quake 2. Uh, but yeah, no, Quake 2 had uh, two console releases, one on the PlayStation, which I had played earlier, which sort of lines up a lot with the, um, the regular old Quake 2 experience. And then this is Quake 2 uh, on the Nintendo 64, but all the maps ported into the Quake 2 2023 engine. Quake 2 Nintendo 64 version is uh, created by, uh, oh, just, just, is it just straight midway? Oh my gosh, okay. But Quake 2 64 is uh, rather notorious for being completely different to the point that all the levels are not, you know, they might be mildly inspired by regular Quake 2, but not really. Uh, this level does appear in the, um, the PlayStation version to some capacity as a bit of a staging area, but uh, every level is somewhat different and also retains that wonderful Nintendo 64 vibe. Um, so uh, I appreciate that. You'll also be able to find secrets. Um, so we've got, you know, 12 kills. That's the other thing is that you're going to be dealing with much lower kill counts and a wonderful soundtrack by your boy, hold on, let me get, let me get, uh, the, the soundtrack, uh, composer. It's by, hold on, it's by your boy, Aubrey Hodges, who also did the Doom 64 and the Quake Nintendo 64 ports. Also, that's right, the Nintendo 64 was the only console that got Quake 1 and Quake 2, because Quake 1 did not come out on the PS1, and, uh, Quake 2 did not come out on the Saturn, I believe. If it did, oh, whoops, sorry. Um. But yeah. Uh, this is a very, very different level to the starting level. I think we actually do get into the, the proper starting level. Um, I believe. The, the only thing is that, the, you know, can you really hide your secrets? Uh, <laughs> Quake 2 64 does not have crouching. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. It has buttons just to go up and down the ladders a little easier. But they do, they do at least let you know, yes. No crouching. You gotta wing it. You gotta go for it. Um, so let's see if I can actually remember where all the secrets areas are. Where they came out of the other wall on the PlayStation version. I'm getting like... Uh, a little bit weird going on here. I think... Is there another secret? Mm, where was the other secret? Do I remember where it was? I think it was earlier, actually. I know it's probably excessive of me to keep looking for all the secrets. We don't have any secret levels. Um, I swear that should have been a secret. Going over there. Do I have to stand in it? Blowing up those barrels. Oh well. Oh well. Uh, but yeah. No, I feel... F you know, taking the sights, the sounds, and this is a nice little, you know, bonus into your Quakes 2 uh, library. And it's definitely worth, uh, worth giving a check out. It even has these fun little camera zooms out from the end so you can actually see what my character looks like in third person. A little bit of a groove as well. Uh, we also have this fun little map screen, uh, which does highlight the entire game. It highlights uh, also just how few levels we have. We've got much fewer levels and most of them are a lot shorter. 
Um, so if you're playing the PlayStation 1 version, the beginning introductory level was there, but now, you know, you'd get back into the regular old Quake 2 style levels. Sort of mixes it up here and there. Um, I think they've even <laughs> captured these uh, lens flares fairly well. Uh, but obviously, I feel like playing this is like, you can tell it's probably a lot harder on an actual Nintendo 64, and it is, kind of. Um, I do need to play it a little more, uh, to fully understand the gripes of the, the, the level designs and the controls, but, uh, I kind of like it as this fun little package of, of just, like, it's on the PC version, because now it's like, you know, how does one feel about the PC version, or how does one feel about the Nintendo 64 levels brought over. Uh, I really do hope that they transfer the, um, the PlayStation levels, even if it is more of a curiosity. We have these just explosive charges here, as you do. <laughs> That's a fun explosion right there. Um, we're also taking this level on in a bit of a weird direction because of that little fun secret there. Um, great, great weapon switch. I'm glad I have auto weapon switch turned on as well. Uh, but yeah, I don't think there's units at all in this one. It is basically just, uh, also I, I appreciate it. like a fun little window that you can't quite jump through, but you can shoot through. Uh, I don't expect Quake 264 to really take me the full two hours. We might be done kind of sooner. Um, but we'll see how we go. Uh, and if I've got a little bit of free time, We'll check out uh, a little bit of the um, the 2023 levels because I know that will take me a fair bit longer. Um, I don't suppose I yeah. Well, at least I still got the compass, helping me figure out which way I go. So I'm not oh okay. So I'm not just aimlessly wandering around. I found this super shotgun as a secret. Oh five. There you go. Did you witness that explosion? That was a wonderful explosion. We even got the drums are playing a little too early, guys. Repulsor deactivated. My repulsor. But it actually flows kind of nicely, and I appreciate they didn't even, you know, original levels. What is this? Doom 64 now? Quake 2 64 with the original levels? Nintendo 64 people are eating well. They, you know, like, they they just get the good versions of all of these console games. Of all these console ports of, at least, these shooters. And isn't that kind of weird? Because, like, at the end of the day, you know, Nintendo's uh, first-person shooters were not as um, up to speed, I guess. Definitely by the newer days of, uh, you know, maybe the Wii onwards. GameCube was kind of here and there, although I didn't have... I think Call of Duty was just like a PS2 game for the longest time. I love this like force, well it's not even a force field, it's just a floor here. Gives you the grenade launcher that you can use. Uh, no new weapons and for the most part I think there's one new enemy. We'll see. Um, it would kind of cut content in the uh, regular Quake 2. Um, and, uh, but it's restored as part of this and uh, very nicely we'll see a, uh, a lovely um, I guess encore of every single thing we've seen so far as part of the uh, the core of the machine later on. Without the music, it is a very different tone. Uh, again, mentioning the PlayStation version, which had the same soundtrack as the PC version. Um, very strange to have the uh, nothing jamming on this one, but it's by design. It's a very different tone though, so. Oh. I guess you just walk past it. Uh, we'll go for the close laser. Oh, that's not that's not fun for my health. Ooh, there we go. What a fun behind the corner kind of hallway. That's not a hallway. <laughs> it's just a guy. Um, so let's talk about the uh, the feet of. Uh, 
Well, we got two two kinds of feet we're talking about. So let's talk about the the first important feat, uh, which is uh, I am a god guitar hero player, um, and I achieved what I had never achieved before, uh, with enough perseverance, enough willpower. Uh, I have beaten uh, Jordan, expert, five star. I feel like a god, even though you know, like, uh, like clearly, I didn't have to see it. And uh, if if you've played Guitar Hero 2. You know, Jordan is a very tough song, but it's very tough in a couple of places, enough to really throw you off and really be hard to beat. But the moment you can beat that, um, Five Star is fairly okay. The riffs are fairly easy, you should be able to, you know, gain a lot of points in the, in the, um... <laughs> be patient. You can gather a lot of points in the, uh, in the downtimes, and even, like, half the solo isn't actually, like, that bad. But the other half is incredibly bad. Incredibly hard. Um, I'm glad that we've got this enemy in like level, what, three? I should use a grenade launcher on him, shouldn't I? Good thing they gave me a machine gun. I really needed that. Woo. I assume they're going to be a bit generous with ammo on me because Nintendo 64 aiming, but I think they made this just a little tougher just for the PC people. Oh. That was a that was a very just like mm, mm, yummy yummy grenade, uh, but I, I love the aesthetic. Again, again, we gotta pick up CDs. We gotta pick them up. Um, so yeah, yeah, the particularly yeah the solo B and C sections very tricky. So enough perseverance really got me through it. My fingertips were incredibly sore afterwards because uh, I gripped the guitar so hard on my left hand. So it actually, hey, hey, I'm glad I spotted that one. Um, I gripped the guitar so hard with my left hand, and especially when I'm doing tough things. So I actually like, I'm I'm not saying like I developed calluses or anything, but like the um. The joints on like the insides for each finger, like it's very, very, very sore, very, very sore. Um, so <laughs> I sort of stopped immediately after I was done with that. I was like, eh, that's, that's, I'm pretty set there. Um, but yeah, to the communication center. I appreciate as well the mission numbers keep going on, so it's like one long journey. Um, you might see some sections like uh, this map, which actually do. Reminisce uh, an actual Quake 2 map. Just gonna say Doom 64 map. We'll get into Doom 64 maybe one day. We'll get into that. Um, obviously as well, it's a. Uh, oops! It's all. It's all. It's all bad. Don't don't go in it yet. But you know it's a secret. Everyone's favorite enemies, the flying dudes. I love this wall. That is just like they've captured the. Um, the texture filtering on the Nintendo 64 so nicely because like for the people who never actually played on real Nintendo 64s you're winging it by having a very low resolution I always rip on this anyone who plays like emulator stuff particularly like Project 64 um, back in the day like legit compare it to a real hardware or something like that because Project 64 uh, for the longest time um, you know, would just say, oh, you know, the, the console runs at 640 by 480 and therefore the games run at 640 by 480 But no, the the games will output at a lower resolution and anti-alias the, uh, the 640 by 480 So, uh, it's like this interesting in-between, you know, methodology, but it does, you know, it's, it's not, it's not as crisp and as clean as it looks like on Project 64 and, uh, because of that, I think a lot of people don't quite, you know, get what the Nintendo 64 looks like. It is not exactly like this, although the textures are a bit more on point, but usually your screen resolution is so far down. So far down that I'm pretty sure it's in... Is it in display? Do we have the... Um... The CRT simulation? Again, imagine you're looking at it like this. Maybe this is a bit more accurate. Maybe we play for a little bit like this. I don't know. This might look like butt to people on... on video, but like, trust me, it's, it's exactly how this feels. I remember there being a little bloodsucker in this room, not a, not 
a big lad. I might actually continue the rest of the rest of the thing like this. I kind of like the vibe we got going on here. It's fun, cause it's like it, it is proper like doing the pixelation and everything. It's not even. I mean, it's not it's, it's not a very like accurate CRT simulation, but it's a fun effect. And honestly, most of the game's textures are kind of poor anyway, so. By design, but definitely. Let's let's finally use this. So yeah, so you might remember this part. Although we did not use a, uh, a CD to change the destination. Change these things. Uh, we already killed every enemy. The level just ends here. Are we not going to figure out how to get into that pit? Well, I guess not. Okay. That's the end of the unit. Uh, in 12 minutes. Yeah, it's a little quicker than uh, I would have expected. We're going to get crazy fast on some of these later units as well, I tell ya. Because it's really only what, like, I mean, if you're doing the counting right now, that looks like 18, 19 levels. I think it's, it might be 18 or 20. But not 19. Disable the gravity generator. As it, oh, as if we are generating gravity, we want to not generate gravity. Oh, hi there. Come on, come on. Alright, let's get this buddy with the grenades. Woo! Oh, he's coming again. <laughs> I was like, I was like, he's gonna definitely just like pop me as I come around the corner. There it is. He didn't even make a noise, or I wasn't listening. One of the two. Um, <laughs> it's fun with the CRT because it's like they're a lot harder to discern from the, <laughs> you know, from the resolution. I don't know. It's kind of fun. Also, I, I love this where it's like... I think you're meant to low gravity that jump, but uh... Whoops. Let's just keep going around the other way. How about that? So is the music really quiet? Ah, we'll keep it on six. We'll keep it on six. Someone's gonna go nuts. It's like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. It's just, it's, I'm, I'm trying to be consistent. I'm sorry. That looks like a gravity generator. If I've ever seen one. Um, so yeah. Uh, the rest of Guitar Hero 2, I mean, once you've done Jordan, you've pretty much done all the real hard stuff. Uh, Mizzalu is a hard song to five star, and that definitely took a few goes. Um, quite a bunch of goes, but... Okay, I'm going back here then, I guess. See ya, my lad. Oh. You wanna try it? You wanna try it? <laughs> these areas are not quite designed with these guys jumping in mind. Just stay up, just stay down. 57 enemies. They have more enemies, finally. Ah, there we go. Turn off the gravity. Easy. Now we must locate and retrieve explosive charges. I love this backtracking now with low gravity, though. Which also means I should be using a uh, grenade launcher more often. Because I can actually aim it. Oh! Cheeky lad, cheeky lad, cheeky lad. Um, yeah. No, I've, I've really been enjoying Guitar Hero 2, and even if, uh... Uh, my, um, my experience is sort of, like, here and there, just because my hand keeps cramping all the time. Um, it's, uh, it's, uh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Pretty much, uh, I'll, I'll see if I can try an FC at least, like, 20 songs. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Woo! How about let's live? Let's live. Grenade the launch is not doing me any favors. Uh. Oh, this is gonna be a 
be an alleyway to hit them with. There we go. Uh, but yeah, we'll continue on. We'll, we'll keep going on with that. I haven't exactly been playing anything else too much this week. It's been pretty hands-off. Um, Lift-off in progress. Oh, as in don't stand here. Oh no, I'll let me stand up there. Maybe just don't fall in the pit. That was a, that was a fun like surf ride up, wasn't it? Ow, my legs. I needed those. Oh my ears, apparently on that shot. Oh, because I picked up the sign. Mm, oh yeah, I forgot. There's no... There's no, oops. There's no inventory. You pick up items, they get used. So, uh, pick up the silencer, and I am using a silencer. That was what was going on there for a second. We'll relive that in a hot moment. Yes, I did try to teabag. Uh, thanks for the follow, Dan, by the way. I keep... I don't know why. I keep... I... I missed the notifications, and I wish I had configured my sounds properly for that one, but... Thanks for the follow. Um... But, uh, but yeah. Also, just as a, just as a, uh, a small, uh, yay kind of news, um, uh, in the past week, my, uh, my retro achievement set for, uh, Rayman Hoodman's Revenge on the Game Boy Advance, uh, was, uh, past the code review and, uh, the playtesting seemed alright, although I, I apologize, <laughs> I jumped the gun on, on, uh, merging it right away, um, because there were a couple, there was a little bit of, like, oh, I had to clean up a couple of things. Um, but generally, they were very small and they were quick to clean up. Um, and uh, I appreciate whoever was the first to start playing it. Um, oops. Whoever was first to start playing it was very willing to, um, you know, do it the harder way. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be as hard as uh, some of those achievements were. Um, but good on him, because he sort of did them anyways. And uh, at least, you know, doing them, uh, uh, doing achievements that are too hard, you have achievements, uh, you have, um, leaderboards. At least vouch for you. So, it must look like a very weird item. Because it's rotating in a weird way. Um, but yeah. Uh, but then, yeah. Uh, they liked it so much. They were like, yeah, you know. You're doing a good job as a junior. Want to be a full developer of retro achievement sets. And I was like, yeah, sure, man. So, yeah. I, I have officially graduated from the junior developer role. Which means now I can take on, uh, one, uh, a lot of games. Um, and, uh, I've also got to put in, you know, lots of hard effort, but, uh, you know. That's, uh, that's, uh, the rewards of the fruits you labor, so I'm very glad that they, uh, they recognize that. And I acknowledge their recognition and that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm rewarding myself by starting work on a PlayStation 2 game that I wanted to work on, or at least just have achievements for it, would be fun, uh, which is uh, SingStar for the PlayStation 2, uh, a not released in America. Uh, SingStar is a karaoke game developed by Sony London Studio, um, released in a lot of different countries, but uh, in particular there's different songs for different regions. Uh, we're doing the Europe Australia version, oh sorry, the UK Australia version, um, which has a bunch of songs such as uh, Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up, and uh, in my m mind, uh, famously, they have Delight, Groovers in the Heart, except they did not plot out, uh, they didn't put rap lyrics in, so there's no reward for doing the rap part. You don't, don't have to rap. Um, uh, what else does it have? It's got Take On Me. It's got a... Uh... Uh... Oh my gosh. Ooh! Dude, this thing's very fun looking. Me when I say it's got lots of great songs. It's also got a lot of like just 2004. So it's got like S Club 7 and uh... Uh... What else? I believe in a thing called love. There's a lot of, there's a lot of good ones in there. Um... I'd say it's a pretty alright jam though. I can touch the, the uh... The Nexus here. It's just a hologram, it's just a model. Uh, I, I like how we're still on the moon as well. Um, which, isn't that kind of like a fun little departure as well? Like, I know there's a, a bonus level in Quake 2 that takes place on the moon. Um, 
but I just love the fact that, like, that's the intended direction of this game, is having two low gravity levels. Um, so I think our goal is we need to, well, we need to destroy some generators. Come on. Oh. I don't think it's real. I don't think it's that easy to hit this guy. He keeps dodging all over the shop. I tried. I tried a lot. It did not work. This guy would be a little easy to hit. Good thing they put these 45 degree walls here so you can just bounce it around the corridor. And they proceed to give me another guy who I can't hit. So we've just got to put the satchels, I love how they're just satchels, um, on these buttons or things and away we go. Um, but yeah, SingStar on the PS2 is a, uh, a very cooked game to, uh, reverse engineer. Um, so I'm currently going through, uh, somewhat my strats, but also trying to figure out some new ones. Uh, the existing games that I had done, uh, retro treatment sets for did not really have, um, many pointers. Uh, Dexter's Lab, I did not get any at all. Oh, hi! Where did he come from? Just drop down. Watch me drop right in. That was that was a that was a clean shot right there. Oh, I don't know. Sorry. Um, it was a clean shot. Um, really running dry on ammo, especially when I do that, don't I? What crap? I got rockets. Okay, rockets and grenades. Okay. Uh, but yeah, SingStar, I mean, as a PS2 game, I did expect more pointers. It seems that nearly everything in SingStar is via a pointer chain, though. I figured out this one uh, repository in memory of uh, song details, including like file paths that it probably loads something from. Um, so it's like you find um, some random like details. But the name of the song is pointed to, as well as the artist's name. Um, so, okay, so so we're dealing with one pointer, aka with, there's a struct with the details of the song, and in it is a pointer to uh, the name of the, the song. Now, that struct is pointed to uh, in an array. There is an array of pointers to the song informations and uh a 30 song so oh, hi there. very weird in, uh place to be fighting all right sequence completed you know what that means getting the heck out of dodge oh look at that it lines up kind of nicely two minutes to detonation use a strong ship to escape My, that guy is escaping the worst way uh, so I came out this way, which means we probably need to go this way, right? It, it flows nicely. The, this, this expansion does have some very fun level design. And if anything as well, if you didn't like Quake 2's regular old level design and how kind of caked everything is, this is good fun. Uh, so that, that wasn't good fun, me getting hit like 10 times a sun. What? What? All right, that guy's down. Let's just get this jump up. Um, so then, that array is uh, referenced in uh, one other part of memory, but uh, I, I, actually, that array is fairly static. It doesn't move anywhere, which is nice. But how does one know what song is currently active? Uh, and so that array is appointed to the right song element in that array, uh, somewhere else. There we go. Look at this fun little secret right here. There's also a chain gun here. I need to press this computer panel before the ship blows up. There we go. Let's get the heck out of dodge. And we're done with the moon. Lots of secrets though. Press the any button. I don't know what the any button is. 
go. So off the moon and onto uh, the Strog Freighter. Here we go. <laughs> Just cash. Still got the gravity. Why not? Oh, hi there. Jeez. Does this room look familiar? Gosh, jeez. Lots of dudes. Um, so, uh, after painful searching, because this is the worst part, is that, like, you kind of need to feel confident that the pointer you're looking for is stationary. Because at any point, you know, if your pointer moves around, you know, you gotta be looking for, you know, where it's moved around to. Sometimes, you can feel confident that there's just, like, an offset. Like, your, your pointer is just like, oh, okay, well, something somewhere is referencing this field, and then maybe it moves here and there. So, if it moves somewhere else, then I can refer to its, you know, what's the term? If it moves around, something must be pointing to... Uh, that new location, which means something's value just changes with some offset, depending on that pointer. And I say the offset because sometimes it's not pointing directly at something, sometimes it's usually pointing somewhere in front. Uh, which usually means it's a struct or something, but, uh, against that one. Oops. Oops. Um, but, uh, the, the problem comes from, uh, well, what if, what or where that pointer is uh, being stored also moves around. Because now, you can't even just say, oh, I'm looking for a struct uh, at this address, or sorry, I, like something somewhere holds an address and I'm looking for the offset, because now it's like, well, it doesn't necessarily say that. And uh, in my case, it wasn't. I now have uh, a pointer, which points to, oh, sorry, a pointer which goes to another pointer, which goes to the position in that array, which is a pointer that goes to the details of a song which contains a pointer to the string of the name. That is five pointers. Four levels of indirection, or four levels of indirection really, because the string is not a pointer. It's an array, but it's, it's not really a pointer. Um, just, to, just to get the name of the song. Also, getting the name of the song isn't really the goal. I think more, I wanted something consistent to know what's the, you know, what song is the player going for. And the part that hurt is that it took me a fair while to realize, and I, I, I should have learned this, is um, uh, whatever I was looking for is only consistent in uh, quick play, in the sing mode as it is. Where'd he go? Did he? Oh, he walked all the way that way. Oh, we've got a rail gun. Ow. Ow. Good old railgun, though, I tell ya. It's good fun. Uh, so yeah. Long story short, don't be dumby like me when developing retro achievements. But it is a very tricky game. And especially one that's very hard to follow along with. Um, I'm still trying to leverage Ghidra to help uh, plot out my, my stuff. But I'm not the most confident in Ghidra. And especially when you try to load uh, different save states and different, like bits of memory. It's like, stuff moves around, so all your labels are sort of wrong after a while. I'm winning a lot of health right now, so uh, we better make sure- oh, are we done? Oh, we're done. Okay. Any health or, uh, nah. Proceed to the cuckoo bait. Well, I got 17 health. That's all I need. Uh, shut me in! Ah. So, yeah. We'll get an achievement set for, for SingStar soon enough. Um, I, I'm currently plotting the achievements as I go, and then trying to make sure that the stuff I've identified is working, at least for the bits that I expect it to. Um, so, we should, we should start seeing some stuff uh, soon. And I guess technically, like, I don't... I don't know if I still need a code review. I'll check. Um, But, uh, yeah, it should mean I can release it a little sooner. Or, at the very least, start working on something while people are looking at it, which is also nice. Um, I have some other games in mind. I think I can actually drop down here. Um, I have some other... Oh. Those grenades, I tell ya. Um, I have some other games in mind for, uh, the, the near future. 
Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't want to pick up a ton of games just in one go, because it's like, if I if I have the ability to work on SingStar, I will work on SingStar. And then the moment I'm done with it, I can start thinking about other games. But for now, my mind is on that. <laughs> the Nintendo 64 water. It's weird because it's got transparency. Like that's what that's what it should have. But it's like it's such an egregious texture. And they knew it because they did it in like every game. Every like first person shooter on the Nintendo 64 has like the weirdest looking water. And I know we're in space, and I know that was a real poor move on my end. Me, Quake 64, Quake 264 will probably be easy because controller, also me. There we go. Uh, so yeah, well, well I'll keep you, you, you fellas posted on uh, how that's going, but uh, yeah, for now it's uh, lots of discovery and uh, hopefully I can figure out the songs in the career mode and then just kind of ditch real hard when, um, you know, for supporting any other mode, because I don't know. Because I don't really, you know. If you're in any multiplayer mode, I don't know, man. I don't need achievements on that. I don't need anything on it, really. Uh, that jump. I, I love as well the spaciousness of Nintendo 64, like, what are we looking at here? Incredible room. Oh, can we jump over there? Probably. Could probably get up there. From this box. Oops. From this box. Uh, so now I will talk about the other kind of feat, not a feat of, of uh, skill, but uh, the unfortunate, uh, what do I, t what do I say, uh, it seems I have, uh, I mean, okay, I'm not going to focus on controversy too much, oh, I, I, I love that, also, can I get him with a grenade or not? Oh, they'll see the grenades coming at them. We'll see the grenades coming at them. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's a good way of going about it. Uh, let's just get right into it. Um, I may have mentioned last week uh, that I aimed to not make my videos emulate a certain uh, YouTuber by the name of Chugga Conroy, uh, his art style. Um, art style? Or just style of, you know, overanalyzing games. And, uh, I mean, I guess I technically don't, uh, overanalyze, or overanalyze stuff nowadays, but, uh, the, uh, the controversy comes from Chugga Conroy is a bit of a social deviant, would say. Um, the most egregious sin uh, is obviously that he is in defeat. Um, and, uh, oh, check that out. So now I got my quad damage, I gotta, I gotta wing it, because, you know, it just uses it. Um. But yeah, uh. Now, it's, it's not like, you know, exactly wrong on its own to just be, well, well it is kind of weird to be honest. Um. Oh man, I had my save loaded for a while. Uh, I'm not gonna get into the whole, you know, like what should people be interested. In. Point is, uh, as a as a content creator, he had uh, sought out the images of uh, his fellow colleagues' shoes and or uh, bottom of their legs, um, you know, that, whatever's down there. Um, I love this like hologram here. Maybe I should put in the red key, which is right where I was before, and go down this one lovely lift. That's where I started. Hopefully there's not one more enemy down here. Oh, there's three more. Very nice. Let's utilize this grenade launcher to its fullest. Very nice. Very, very nice. I love the space as well. It's just wonderful. Wunderbar. Um, but yeah, yeah. Now, I, I mentioned Chugger Conroy as, like, you know, not that he's, like, if I call him an idol, that's a bit less of a, of a, um, 
because I haven't watched a ton of his stuff recently, uh, and for quite a like a number of years recently. I'll sometimes tune in, check what's going on, um, just know what he's playing. Um, but for me personally, it's like when he played also cave. We gotta have a, a wonderful cave mine level, uh, which we'll get into. <laughs> he's just skating up it. He's just skating up. Um, Again, I, I, I just love that the levels are different, because now it's just like, we get a mind level. How cool is that? Um, we're only 40 minutes in. It's like, yeah. This is such a treat. Even if, even if it's like, <laughs> look how horrendous these textures are. I have the, the CRT effect on it, it still looks hilarious. Also, it's just ice physics and these enemies that barely appeared in the regular game. Oh, the machine loves them. We'll get into that. We'll get into that very soon, I guess, if, if uh, time permits this stream. Um, but uh, yeah, he's he's a uh, Chugger's a uh, like a man. Chugger's a bit of an idol to me uh, in the sense of like he is one of the inspirations um, that you know shaped the kinds of content that I watched and made. Um, he was not the original Let's Player. I inspired to follow. That would have been uh, solely uh, Proton John and uh, a fellow by the name, and he hasn't ever popped off of being famous, but shout out my man Quadraxis14, you're a cool fella. You're, you're a cool chappy. Uh, you still you still at it as well, so shout out. The long game. <laughs> Us long haulers after like 15, 16 years. Um, well, that was the last of that. I love these guys, these little, like, scary dudes. They look scary, but they're just like, they just have a bit of health. I love these doors as well, you notice that? Uh, um, but yeah, Chugga, um, uh, yeah, there's a new controversy basically, uh, and, and it's about two weeks old, so we've had, like, the whole apology stuff, uh, happen already. And, uh, at least this thing is, a uh, real, a person by the name of, uh, Emily, which is very confusing because Chugga's name is Emil. Um, uh, pretty much, uh, I think they're, they're friends, they've worked on stuff before. Um, I don't know, there's, there's a little bit of interpersonal drama going on as well, just in the midst of all of this. Um, but, uh, it, like, she had posted just a selfie. And, uh, Chugga just casually crops out, uh, the shoes in the background and keeps alluding to comments about feet and shoes and stuff. And, uh, to the point that it got creepy for her, and, uh, Chugga kept messaging and he didn't take the hint and kept messaging and basically said, yeah, it's kind of harassing. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, 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 I'm one to, to, you know, really think about, but honestly, like, I don't know, like, does does look like you know he ain't taking the hint so it should it should really stop like that but then uh some other women um i think Masea Nella, who is someone who i actually also followed as well uh said yeah no chug has like been kind of weird and you know i've broken ties with him and anything that's happened since is just like without my consent like that's just Teleporter to the planet's surface, that's right. So much of this is not taking place on Strogos. That we need to, like, have an intervention. We're like, guys, we need to get back to Earth. And I've got only explosives, apparently. So, uh, we're gonna go a little overkill on these chappies. Very nice explosion. More chain gun, more carnage. I love it. Uh... So yeah, it's a lot of YouTuber drama, you know, I'm not gonna be the kind of person who's just like, moral busybodying, um, but I just, uh, I mention it more so, one, because I could say two feet, two different kinds of feet, I, I just, kind of wanted to see the pun. Um, oh, how do I get up there other than, ah, I was like, other than the rocket jump, very nice. Uh, my health is gonna start dripping, is it not? No, okay, oh, there it is. I love these hallways, and I love, like, this level design still feels like Quake 2, but it is also very fun and different. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so yeah. Now, I do wish Chugger the best, because I honestly think, you know, people should be, uh, you know, should have a, uh, a pathway for redemption. And especially in this case where, you know, the worst I can say is, like, it's very socially awkward and, like, you know, and to some degree, I, I, like, I sort of always know Chugger, at least as a person watching him and not as a person who's ever talked to him, um, as, like, you know, perhaps being a, a bit trickier to take the social cues. Um, so what I do want is not to destroy the man, but to, uh, guide him towards a path of redemption, uh, because I feel like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, bro hasn't, uh, done anything... You know, and you can't apologize and make up for, I guess. Uh, there are some people who enough is enough, and I guess you just have to accept that. Um, but uh, for me as a viewer who doesn't directly talk to him, and to some degree, you know... Oh, check it out. A big force gun. So, uh, there's a fun little laser, there it goes. Expecting like a boss fight out there? What? There you go, so... We're nearly done, I think we've got to do the lap around the level again. There we go. We got this fun laser. Ooh. Oh, look, a boss fight! <laughs> Whip out your BFG! Killed themselves. Huh. That did not that did not work out right, so yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna, you know, destroy the destroy the man, and I, I guess that's the problem with um oh, that's a that's a problem, ain't it? Um That's a that's a that's a problem with a lot of people on like Twitter slash Reddit, a lot of these sites are just like absolutely scorched earth when it comes to like a guy who's got like accusations like this. Now Granted, you know, the rabbit hole keeps getting deeper, because no one just gets cancelled for, like, you know, being a bit weird and not taking hints. They get cancelled for everything. The kitchen sink comes at them. So, uh, uh, on top of Chugga uh, not taking the hint, I'll oh, check it out. Both secrets as well, in both of these levels. <laughs> Six minutes, though, and I know there's a bit of quick save, quick loading going on, but, like, legit, you know? We're getting kind of close already. It's not a long set of levels. I was not expecting it to be long, and uh, certainly it's not very long. So, infiltrate the security booth. Unlock the security doors. Um, but yeah, like, I, to some degree, you know, I do wish people had some kind of redemption. And on the other hand, yeah, no, like, I, I'm not excusing any of it. It is, like, it is kind of weird, real weird, and honestly, you know... If you're, if you're into feet, you know, I, I wish you either the best of health and or, uh, don't do it on main. But, I don't know. I think this is actually, like, proper Quake 2 level being referenced right here. Um. But yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think there's a, there's a certain degree of, uh, what is it, modern, um, internet culture. Not modern, like, as if I can break it down to errors. But, like, I don't recall the internet being this, like, overtly horny. I'll just, I'll just say, like, I don't know, that's a monetized, demonetized kind of term. Very sensitive topic, guys. Um, but, like, legit, I don't remember the internet, like, talking about this kind of stuff a lot. Maybe it's because I was in a lot more, like, on-topic uh, kinds of communities. Um, or like message wards or things like that when I was younger. Um, I would also generally pull the card of just don't tell anyone your age. If I find it's weird, then... Well, I <laughs> I don't know if that's great advice, so don't take it from me. Th but what I did as a kid was I would never tell anyone my age. And if they truly did want to verify my age, I bet. Because it ain't worth it. It ain't worth trying to lie my age. Because that gets everyone in hot water. Legit. Legit. Now, I'm not saying... Uh, there was age lying going on in this case, um, and I know there was that long document of, uh, Chugga saying some fairly, uh, spicy things out of- well, they're not spicy, but they're like, I completely get the internet culture Chugga was in in 2010, 
it, it seems very weird and honestly like you know if i look back at the things that like i watched like i remember when i was like eight and i like showed my cousins um like ego raptor new ground stuff and um yeah it was pretty cool until we started watching the ones where they where he swore a bunch and we were like whoa people swear on the internet world like that kind of stuff and it's like obviously you know we started to recognize yeah maybe not like all the internet's for us um it it sort of blew my mind in in the sense of like you know some stuff and especially even by the same person is for us but not like not all of it um so i took a bit stronger guidance from age ratings and things like that um Newgrounds had a very good age classification system people would very very follow so good on them for enforcing that but um yeah it used to be a lot like i don't know it used to be a lot more telegraph nowadays it's kind of like you browse youtube or, or twitch and you get like boobs a lot of people play the boob card of uh that's how you get the thumbnails it's like bro like i've been on the internet long enough to like have like reply girls on my videos um and uh it never changes, apparently. Uh, but also, it's not just boob girls. And I think one of the... And it, it, here's, here's a general rule. Like, I'm, I, I don't want to be, like, a Puritan on the internet. It's like, you know, you can't be... You know, you can't have things in sexual... I don't know. Like, you know, there's a time and a place for it. And, and certainly, you know, if you've got an audience for that, and it's very clear for that, cool. The bit that I, I, I really draw the line on is... Um, I'm not a big fan of uh, when traditionally kids content has like a uh, very popular adult um, or at least mature rated uh, variants on it and not not like official variants um, although there's a lot of ones now like uh, I I see Captain Laserhawk I see you know Rayman swearing and all this stuff and doing doing um, doing drugs off a, off a anthro cow's, like, prostitute's backside. That is an official Ubisoft thing that they made. And to that, I would actually kind of say, maybe that's in the same boat. If there's something for kids, I, my rule is, don't, don't just wildly make mature or adult themed versions of that. I don't know. Because anytime you Google Aunt Cass from Big Hero 6, you will never be able to see anything oh, sorry sorry well not not you'll never be able to see anything because you will find like actual you know a official screenshots or pictures or whatever of her but you will definitely see lots of references to the uh to the uh photoshopped busty versions of her uh to various actual uh actual uh, explicit materials that people have made using this character and to me, I'm like, this is a kid's character. You don't even have to type Aunt Cass uh, from Big Hero 6 just to rule it down. You just type Aunt Cass and you will see this kind of stuff in Google. Perfectly fine there. You'll see it in any search engine. You cannot escape searching up this character. I love the... the a lot more subtle with the monster closets in this expansion. <laughs> or in, the, in this game. I uh, just want to dive back to Quake 2 for a hot second. Um... Yeah, there's a lot more monster closets. I, I appreciate... Um, yeah, this CRT filter actually really feels the part. I'm liking it. Um, but yeah, like, I, I don't know. Like, you can't go two seconds trying to find anything about this character without, you know, seeing this. And if I was a clueless kid, I would just, you know, I, I don't... I wouldn't realize... And, and maybe some of this is like a bit of projection as well, because when I was a kid, you know, it was a lot trickier for me to just like separate the, the fan material because it was trickier for me to know what was actually, you know, okay in all circumstances and what wasn't. To me, I eventually learned the internet is different to real life, as in there are some things that don't make sense to the people who don't go that frequently on the internet, at least back in... Back in the mid 2000s, when people did not go as frequently onto the internet as they do nowadays, um, just taking more power cores all over the place. Um, ah, my legs! I needed those. Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm not saying all, uh, you know. I guess 
kids' characters. Oh, first of all, yeah, like, Aunt Cass is an aunt, and she's definitely an older character as well. Like, some people would, would make the argument of, like, you know, don't, don't, what is it, don't lewd children, which is 100%, you know, yeah, I'm glad we all agree on that. But to me, I, I don't know, I feel like kids' show characters or anything relating to um, younger media should, I don't like, one... It should generally be a bit off, off, uh, off limits. I don't know. It's a sensitive topic, and I also know that like people's livelihoods are sometimes built around making up for this. Um, I don't know. Just, just swap it out. OC. Just, just, just do it yourself. Um, I really want this door to open. If only there was a way to open it. Oh, did I just did I pick up a key and I just didn't? Oh no, yeah, sorry. Wrong door, wrong door. Um, so yeah. So to go back to the Chugga Conroy thing, uh, you know, a as a content creator, and especially one who doesn't, like, I don't swear. I, I try not to swear. I know I have played games with swearing in them. Um, uh, but, like, and I'm not saying my, my content is exactly, like, kid-friendly, I guess. Also, someone would say, like, content, and I know, I know, I know, all I do is I play video games and I commentate on it. It's, it's not much, but it's an honest, honest day's work. It's not even an honest day's work. I don't even make money for this. Um, but I don't know, like, I feel like there's a, there's a degree of, um, you know, like, if you keep your content in a certain age range, you know, please don't break that while in character or in that persona. And, I don't know, maybe that, maybe, again, that seems maybe a bit Puritan to me. Um, it's weird, I'm like generally very libertarian, but I'm like, yeah, I'm at this point where it's like, you know, just, just declare me emperor of the world, and I'm gonna goof it up for some people, and save the day for some other people, I don't know. Uh, but, but, like, there are some, like, under my impression of like, you should keep your, 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 your internet persona somewhat on topic. If you make content that's at least under a certain style or a certain kind of age. So even though I don't make like kids material, it's like, you know, in general, I just talk about whatever. And I try to do it without cussing or any kinds of stuff, because you know, I honestly don't need it. I can I can vent my frustration. Usually my frustrations are not very not very hostile anyway, so that's why that's why the swearing doesn't really come out of my mouth very much. Someone will probably find an old video where I probably did. Can you find the worst word I've ever said? Cause that'd be, that'd be very interesting, what I'm saying. Um, bonus points as well, various words that like get better or worse over time. I was watching, I was um, uh, listening to the uh, the Triple J uh, Hottest uh, 100 um, a couple of days ago. And uh, what I keep forgetting is you're allowed to swear on the radio. Like this is like, I'm not saying it's for kids, but like, you know, they they go ahead and they just go, yeah, you know, like, we use the explicit versions of the songs, we ourselves will swear in our own advertising, and it's like, you know, a, not to, it's it's not a condemnation of, like, oh, how dare they swear. Um, I think it's more that, like, I'm just generally used to, like, all this stuff being a lot cleaner and a lot, you know, like that kind of stuff, and something is like, oh my gosh, like, yeah, you can swear on the radio nowadays. Um, what was it again? I, I watched like um, the supercars, and on one one day uh, last year, it was just like they interviewed like um, a team uh, boss, and he just like he just swore like a bunch, like not even <laughs> like in an interview, and like he had accepted the 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 you know the thing that happened to his driver, and was just like yeah, like it was just complete bull, and he just like he went off. And they were just like, yeah, yeah, just remember, you know, no swearing. Um, because it's like, yeah, I, you know, there are kids who watch the supercars, and here's just casually their, their interviewer just going at it. Um, and I know I, I watch F1, and, and it happens a lot. It just, it always happens. Uh, it's tricky to catch in live television for radio. I feel like, you know, you're explicitly there to, you know, commentate on that kind of stuff. But I also feel like they're probably not, uh... They're probably not, you know, told they can't. Um, and especially on, I don't know, maybe, maybe the Hottest 100. They had like a, like a language warning they would sometimes give, and then at some point they just gave up. 
like later in the night and then they said like you know oh like i'm just quoting a guy you know i don't need a language warning it's not directed at anyone um and uh and it's like oh my producers can piss off like that kind of that kind of approach let's watch it laser Woo! very nice very very nice i do like me a good laser moment down the hole it's very satisfying to watch the third player the third person model go down there as well we're getting close we only got seven levels to go that's 10 down oh my gosh at least i think that read like seven blips activate geothermal power systems let's continue on but there's our hole our lovely hole um so yeah so to that i would just say like yeah like chugga you know like or really to anyone this is not directed at chugga um but what i uh we got lava this this is starting to become you know more and more my favorite uh and we got a guy who can Man, jeez. Jeez. Okay. Um, <laughs> that caught, caught me off guard. Did I touch one of the lava balls? I must have. Um, I was just standing in the wrong place for one of those explosions, maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Like, uh, I'm probably coming off as like a massive Puritan right here, so I'll, uh, I'll leave it. I'll leave it pretty lean, but uh... But yeah, like, I don't know, for, for me, it's like, my rules are, you know, like, I try to not break character, and I know someone's gonna find some moments where it's like, yeah, no, you said this kind of stuff on some random Discord server way back in the day. And it's like, yeah, you know, like, there's some, like, there's some things where it's like, you know, I half regret, like, what I said. Uh, there's some things where, uh, or, or I full regret, maybe. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not one to really regret myself too much, too often. Um... Yeah! <laughs> Jumping on gears. Dude, that's fun. That's fun. Um, yeah, I, I, I mean, you know, like most people on the internet nowadays, it's like, you know, we've all probably said stuff that, like, either we don't believe in or we wouldn't use the tone or the, the, the kinds of stuff. Like, that's, that's the other problem as well, you know? When people get cancelled on the internet, it's like, it's like, I guess for this, it's like, this is just like, this is entirely tone. This is, like, that's what people are, are condemning. I'm gonna be the guy who condemns him for the feet thing. Because it's weird to me. Um, but like, you know, hey, if you're into feet stuff, and you're like, you don't mention it ever, you know, hey, you know, it's it's a different kind of, of condemnation, I guess. I don't know, it's something like that. Take what I say mostly in jazz. I don't, I don't, I don't take things too seriously. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, if I don't take things too seriously, I hope you don't take the things I say too seriously. Um, but yeah, like, uh, like, legit, like the legit. Oh no, I'm going down this this part. Um, but yeah, like, don't. I don't know. I, I, I don't say anything, or I don't do any of that kind of stuff on main. So if you ever see that kind of stuff. I don't know, man. In this age of like doctored photos and that kind of stuff, there's tons of tons of me out there. I'm calling it right now. The AI models train on my my voice. Where's Sag? Where's I? Where's Sag Aftra? I need I need licensing and copyright protection for my digital twin. I need a what's isn't that in the news or it's like it's it like deep fakes of taylor swift and like even the white house responded on this one i what what was with that by the way sag after was like all on for like licensing out people's uh likenesses to this like digital twinning company um and it's probably with their permission i'm not saying they're just like casually doing that um against people's wills uh but more just like the whole point of like why the strike happened for the past year was to prevent um, you know, this kind of, well, not to pretend, prevent, but like a lot of these, these voice actors and, and, and actors in general, um, you know, are afraid of getting replaced, which I completely sympathize with. Um, uh, cause it's just like, yeah, this kind of stuff is getting like real good. Um, and then casually sag after it, just like after the deals land, it's like, yeah, okay, we're, we're, we're partnering with this, uh, digital twinning company. And it's like, what? What's going on there? Ah, oh, the piss water! This is a detention center, it probably is piss water. Um... And, and so, so, and then, like, Taylor Swift's deepfakes... Uh, I say Taylor Swift's deepfakes as if, like, they're the only ones, like, 
anyone can make deep fakes. It's like very, very um, well documented and with enough training data, which certainly exists of Taylor Swift and the technology keeps getting better. It's like, I don't know, man, the, you can only, you can only prevent people doing it uh, at a moral level. Um, I would definitely say, uh, again, you know, my rule of uh, don't exceed the age rating of the source material. As in, if Taylor Swift, uh, you know, never does, you know, actual lewd material on camera, or at least ever intends to do that, um, you know, I would, I would personally say, you know, that's off limits for me. If there's a person who, you know, literally exploits the heck out of their body, um, you know, like, I guess, I'm not saying don't do it, don't do it commercially, don't. <laughs> um, but it's like, it's like, oh, there's lots of uses of defects. That, that should have come with that angle. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you know, I, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, these people who have likenesses and have material and things, look, you dropped the key card. Um, people who have, uh, you know, their own likenesses should be in control of, uh, very strictly what they're, they're, you know, being represented by, and, uh, a lot more loosely, at least, um... Also, this was a much earlier level in the regular game, wasn't it? I should really not lose all my health like that, should I? Um... I don't know, these, 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 uh... Like, people should be in complete moral, uh, complete control of their likenesses and identities. Very nice. Oh, is that going to come back up and I get my, my armor? Because that's fun that I'm actually getting rewarded for that now. Yeah, it's coming back up. Where's my armor? Ah, uh, oh, okay, good. I was like, ah, oh, probably just dropped in. Here we go. Very nice. I hope you like these guys because uh, they sort of get a little annoying, don't they? Um... Do I actually have to? He did drop grenades. Shells. Uh... Look at true platforming section in my Quake 2 for the Nintendo 64. Oh, very nice. I mean, uh, not nice. That's, that's fun again, though. <laughs> I don't know. These guys, like, I know this is Midway. I know they did, you know, Doom 64. They know how to make good fun levels. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? How are you doing? Ah. I think you got hit by the, the stuff. We should have a straight romp in a hot second. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, keep, keep, I don't know. Just, just, just keep your, keep your, 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 your audience in mind. Uh, even if you're doing DMs and that kind of stuff, to me, like, I, I would personally, like, just on topic from the character, um, and honestly, like, you as a person. Also, you shouldn't be using fame to, like, hook up with people, by the way. Just heads up. I know if you're famous, but, like, it's unavoidable. If people know it's you, by the way, as well, just, like, just do it from a personal account. Like, that's, that's fine. That's your personal account. I don't expect... You know, uh, like, I, I know, I know, before someone says, yes, I know, I have the exact same feelings about the whole Pro Jared stuff. And I still watch Pro Jared, because ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, I don't know, I, uh, the content, I guess, in, in my eyes, I separate the content from the, the, the content creator. Um, even if they're not making it very easy for me, uh, well, not, you know, not that it's impossibly easy, but it's like, you know, clearly, when they say stuff, under a certain persona, and also they sort of do long-form commentary. Um, you know, a lot of the person does come out at the same time. Um, I think a lot of people were, were showing, like, some some Runaway Guys clips. Uh, and it was just like, chugga, you know. In hindsight, and and in, in that kind of context, it's like, oh, you know, those, those comments seem a lot... Uh, more sinister if you were to read into them more than probably what Chugga even intended at the time. On the coffin trail. Research lab? No thanks, I left school years ago. Disable the energy core. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I it's, it's weird as well, because, like, uh, I, I think I mentioned Gerard the Completionist um, 
a few, uh, you know, weeks ago. It's like, <laughs> January's nearly done. It ain't done yet. This, this kind of stuff is like, well, that's now two on content creators that I at least followed and knew about, and especially this isn't in the, the whole, uh, although, although it's a very different one, like that, that's like people concerned about tax fraud and also the fact that they donated money to, was that a tax thing? That's not a tax thing, that's a charity thing. People are upset, because, you know, they donated money thinking it would go to a good cause, and uh, it went nowhere. Uh, it eventually got to the good cause, but it was like, it have been years. Like, it, oh my gosh. Um, it would have been much more meaningful had it gotten to the right people at the, you know, the right time. That kind of stuff. Um, better late than never, you know. He did as much of a redemption as he probably could have, because ultimately, you know, the action of donating is fine. But like, the whole point is like, people, people try to trust the, uh, the content creator. Again, you know, don't idolize content creator. I know I said I idolized, or at least he was, um, not necessarily a role model, but how would I phrase it? As idol of a content creator as I ever got to, and when I was younger, certainly, uh, <laughs> uh certainly, you know, well, that, that's who you live up to. You know, unless you got a person actually in your life who you do, you know, really aspire to be like, I guess that's always a problem for people and kids these days, is that they don't know. They don't quite know. So, here comes here comes a figure who entertains you on the internet for the funnies, and that kind of stuff. Um, I, feel like, I feel like I'm just like, what is the tone I'm going for right now? It's like, am I going for like... The kind of ingest stuff that I, I usually go for, or is it like, actually, hold on, we got... Oh, I thought it was blood. It's not blood. Alright, I need a red key card. I think I need a follow... What? That door's closed. I ain't going that way. <laughs> That's not happening. Yeah, my moral of the story is, um... Yeah, you know, like, don't be don't be weird on your main. You know, be, be a bit of a role model. Uh... Like a red key card. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, ultimately, you know, I don't, I don't know, a lot of people have probably said everything on the internet by now. So, how do you, how do you not get cancelled other than, uh, be like Blendo and literally have no social interactions with anyone under your, under your main? Um, I'm not, I never, I never became popular enough to have that. I think every, almost every interaction I've ever had is like, public YouTube comment, and it's usually just, like, on topic. It's, it's, it's always ever on topic. Uh, there's a couple of weird, uh, weird things on, on, on Discord. Some people want to try to, I don't know, in the past, some people try to cancel it. Over. Those people, uh, stoking the flames, I guess. But, they're not around, so I'm not, I'm not harboring too much on that fact. I don't know. Just, like, I, legit, legit, I have a, I have a mate. And, uh, and he's just going through, like, all the, the, the Reddit comments that, like, sort of, you know, left over the years and gone, like, yeah, like, it's not that he even disagrees with the comments, but it's that, like, with no context anymore, just reading some things on Reddit, people got very hostile and antagonistic against him. And I guess maybe that's the thing, is that ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, if everyone likes you, not saying you should get away with, like, actual crimes, but, like, I at least feel like if you're a little bit of a... Yeah, I was like, hold on, do I need to, like, activate a laser bridge? Yeah, here we go. Um, I gotta phrase this real carefully because I feel like... I feel like someone's like, clip, 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 he said something very weird. Um, but, like, if, if you're at least well-liked and not antagonistic and people aren't antagonistic against you, which is possible for everyone because there, there are just some people who are just out to destroy you i don't know uh it's an unfortunate part of life but you know i try my best and you know best i can say is wish someone well if i if if i don't agree or whatever i don't mean anything that hard it's just like you know i got a limited time on this earth i i can only care about so many people and uh you know like if you know what whatever like that that kind of stuff i don't mean anything hard by it and obviously, you know, things can change over time, but 
I don't know, like that, that's my general opinion. So, and, and people are always, you know, can be redeemed, even if, even if you could be, you know, kind of tired and washed up. But I'm usually, you know, fairly, uh, what's the term, uh, resilient to, or, or stubborn, I guess is probably the, the more, the, the better word. It's like, I don't know, it takes, it takes a lot of effort to like really annoy me. I, I've, I've had like some people like legit, like, have a, like a bit of a victim complex that I've talked to and they're like, like, try to hate me, like that kind of stuff. And it's like, bro, like, it's really hard to. The best you can get out of me is like, indifference. Oh, I shouldn't have activated that. Oh. Um, so yeah, so, moral, moral of the story is, yeah, like, you know, I, I'm, again, not saying that this, this Emily lady is, you know, in the wrong at all. I, I feel like, you know, her, her complaints are directed and I can understand people being tired of the person. Um, to that, I would then say as an individual, if people are getting tired of you, either, you know, apologize and... <laughs> there are some people who are like, be, be better as a human being. Uh, and I feel like that's overused, but like, it's sort of a, along the right lines. I'm trying to think of a better way to phrase it. Cause, cause some people say that and then they really don't mean that. They're more like, please like conform to my, um, my like molding of your personality, which is not, that's not healthy. Um, but like, you know what I mean? Where it's like, there's, there's, you know, in this case, he came off too strong. So tone it down, tone it down. And, and for me personally, don't, don't be into feet on main. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh... But the, uh... But yeah, like, it, it, you know... If, if no one actually, like, has a problem with you, then I don't think people would actually have, like... You know, like... People would be a lot more generous, um, than, than they are. Not saying everyone, because a lot of people will still... Uh, the internet is a cruel place. Uh, nameless people, uh, or not nameless, but, you know, anonymous people will go in droves to have certain opinions and uh, just stick by what they feel and that kind of stuff. I'm not going to use it in the next 20 seconds. We're still going back in the water. Oh, because I did the pump, so now I can go back up. <laughs> um... But yeah, that's a that's a very real controversial uh, topic take. I don't know. I feel like I really want to be done with, particularly. I mean, I say I really want to be done with YouTuber drama, but it's on me for mentioning it. I I know that. Um, I think it's more that like these people are, you know, meaningful to the growth of my channel in the sense of like, you know, not that they promoted me, but more that like. I make content that was inspired, uh, in this case, very directly, um, by his works, and I've mentioned him a bunch, and I've used them as an inspiration, and, uh, I've never been in contact with him. I think the best I had, the, the, the most degrees of separation I have, and, and I'll call this one out, um, back when you could actually DM people through YouTube, I remember in 2012, uh, I watched a Nintendo Capri Sun video, who is a, uh, good friend of Chugga's, and, uh, to some degree is, like, he's not, like, apologizing for Chugga's behavior, but he's, like, very willing to, um, to, uh, you know, let him grow, uh, and, and change his behavior and redeem him, or, and, and, and forgive. Um, but he's also, like, yeah, he, he's, he's not the target, he's, he's not been, um, uh, some people would say a victim, and, uh, I guess I, I would have to know more, because victim's a bit of a strong word, um, but definitely, like, you know, he's not, he's, he's a guy, and, and, uh, I, I guess in this case, the behavior seems to be exclusively towards women, so, um, not saying he does not treat women with respect, but more that, that is a secret hiding right there. Where does this go? Is it around the other side, or? Where was that? Hmm. Um, I had done a, uh, I remember in one video, I think, uh, he had mentioned, um, Rush, like the band, and, uh, I had DM'd Nintendo Capri Sun about, uh, the Clockwork Angels album, which just came out. Um, 
it was fairly short-lived that conversation but i guess that's my like two seconds of fame that's my that's my chugger conroy number my kevin bacon number um i had never entered any like actual discord with um really anyone the, the only person who i like have been in a discord with uh who's like actually popular now is um the reviewer g-man lives um partially because uh geocentric like he's in sydney i'm in sydney you know Na naturally i think youtube's suggestions managed to work out on that one also because uh like i'm, I'm gonna say i'm a hipster I, I remember watching him way back in like 2013 because i played shadow warrior like the original and i was like look at this this is like the only guy who's talked about shadow warrior on the internet um out we go uh he had a discord for a bit uh the discord probably got a bit hairy because um I don't remember. I really don't remember. So I feel like I, you know, anything I say might be a little inflammatory if I, if I go anything. It's not. It's not about the guy. Um, the only thing, the only thing I gotta say about Triple G. I love you, my man. Um, but oh boy, you do fight my mutuals on Twitter. You do, like, like I don't know, man. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying it, I guess. But uh, like, just, just accept that, like, there are some people on Twitter literally there to rile people, and I enjoy those people for riling others. Um, and, uh, you, you, you I don't know, I don't know. I'd be, I'd be glad having, like, uh, not a, not a, um, this is a very tricky room, because you don't, you don't get a lot of wiggle room, and you're constantly getting pelted by, um, oh my gosh, just, just, eh, eh. No! <laughs> what are you doing? No! Um, so, uh, nothing, I, there was nothing really, like, you know, like, this is not a, a, a character attack um, for having the Discord, because unfortunately, uh, I think, and this is the reason why I've never had a Discord, is because a lot of internet communities nowadays, uh, kids are kids, or young teens are young teens, and I know, I was a young teen, who used the internet, uh, and, uh, definitely, um, like, for me, it's like, you know, I, I, I think I mentioned earlier, it's like, I never told people my age. Freaking, if, if it was relevant, then, if my age, if my real age was really relevant, uh, I'd just bail. I'd be like, yeah, I know, this is not a community for me. And the best I could say is, you know, like, whatever, uh, like, how do I, how, again, how do I phrase this in a way that doesn't sound like I'm just, like, self-incriminating? Never went into any, like, truly, like, like, off-limit communities. It was more just, like, I think some people just have this idea, and to be honest, I share the exact same idea. I hate chatting to, like, like, people who are, like, just, I, man, how do, how do I phrase it in a way that's, that's not a complete rip? There, I, when I was in school, and I, I observed this with others, I'm not saying everyone is like this, and there's, like, as long as the topics are, you know, off that, you know, it's fine, there's, there's no problem, really. This is, there are so many, this is very caked, very cooked, or I'm not paying attention, one of the two. Um, that is 28 enemies, just chilling there. Oh, can I get that before it, nah. Oh, but I do have this bottom area, so. Um... But like when I was younger and it's like everything is about school because school is everything that a young teenager is sort of like into, I guess. Like that's it. I mean, they care about it. They study about it. They meet people there. It's pretty much like that's a major thing for kids in their lives. Uh, the moment you leave school, uh, it sort of becomes like, oh, you know, it actually wasn't that serious. Um, I'm of the opinion of school is more serious than really anything else. Like, I know, I know, you know, you get to the point of like, okay, but yeah, in reality, or outside of school, suddenly you, people start doing things that actually destroy their lives. But it's like, it's one where like, you're, you have no real attachment to, to, to. Your, your sense of community is completely within your jurisdiction. Um, whether whether you set those boundaries or not, I don't know. Like maybe different. I, I'm very privileged to just like be able to go off to to as they call college, um, study the things that I thought were um, were useful and interesting, and then just like have a job. I guess like that's kind of like my life right now. Um, but uh, oh, 
Hang on, that's a... That's a guy. What do I have that will take him out? Grenades, ugh. We, we got we gotta get that guy first of all, because that's oh never mind. That's gonna be painful. Okay. That ugh, this is this is very, very icky. Very, very icky. No good, icky, icky. Okay, let's try let's try and get some grenade launcher action going on here. Um But I I, I don't know. No yeah, I don't wanna say like kids can't like converse on the internet because there are certainly like you know, Hey, if you're on topic and you just say how much you enjoy a thing, like, that's fine. That's, that's, that's all it is. Um, but yeah, I think, like, for me, it's like, well, when you're in a Discord, suddenly now, you know, s school isn't the kids' only community. And, and to some degree, you know, I sort of... I, I'm probably guilty of this outside of, of, uh, of that. Because Discord didn't start being a thing until I was at uni. It was still, like, the TeamSpeak Mumble days. Um, when I was at, like, school. Um... But, uh, but yeah, it's like, Discord, and, and really like, you know, IRC is probably in a similar boat. It invites, uh, participation and somewhat, uh, people are very, very easily oversharing, uh, going a little off topic. That's fine, you know, it's community, whatever, you know, if, uh, as long as it's within the bounds of your community, that's fine. Um, at some point though, I definitely do remember being, uh, moral support for, uh, uh, people who were certainly like kids, I guess. I, that sounds that sounds really. Ah, uh, it seems it seems weird when people say like, "Oh, you didn't even ask them their age." But it's like it's like, what what's the term? Like, uh, like legit, they're just depressed and they're just like saying, uh, "Like, I get bullied at school," and I'm like, "Yeah, like uh, all I say is it's just like pep talk, you know? School is like." Temporary, whatever, that kind of stuff. But it's like, I'm like counseling, sort of, and I'm like, I don't really feel the most comfortable doing counseling, but it's like, to me, it's like, I, I feel a little guilty uh, because it's like, there's no one better, I guess. They're not surrounding themselves with very, like, you know, useful uh, peers at school, and uh, I've ended up being the, um, oh, this is a weird map as well. First of all, because I kind of hate the. The, the verticality is cool, but I hate the, the whole this going on. Um, there's also loops as well, which is kind of fun and interesting. Um, not forever, but more just this platform goes up. So as you go up, then you go past where it... Oh, whoops. Oh, I gotta go quick, because I've, I've done my safe state in a kind of wrong spot. Oh! I might need a drop. Yeah. <laughs> oh! I didn't even realize there was a quad damage here. Very nice. Um... But yeah, I feel like, I feel like I've probably said a ton of things that are just like, absolutely horrendous out of context, so, uh, just, just no, like, nothing I've really spoken about is like, crazy serious, and, uh, but, yeah, I, I don't know, like, to, to, to me, it's just like, just keep things not serious. Uh, I don't, I don't really want to be, like, crazy moral support, um, in group chats, uh, I just want to be generally positive and that's it. I, I, which is, is sort of similar, but it's like legit. If you're having a hard time, it's like speak to everyone who's like legit in your like your friend circles and your family and that kind of stuff. Um, I do not know how it feels like if it's like the family is the problem or the actual school is the problem because I know you know life ain't perfect and that kind of stuff does happen to some people. I love, I still love the aesthetic. It's like constantly rising aesthetic. Um, but I'm trying to spot the platform <laughs> wherever it is. Uh, where is it? Where is it gone? I'm hearing the enemies because I know they're just up there. You don't just like jump in. Because you obviously don't. I know it's just the sand, but... Uh, but yeah. Ah, moral of the story is... Uh, oh yeah, that is a platform. Wow. Uh, there we go. Oops. We'll have another crack at that. There we are up the ledge. Uh, I think this is all we have to be, so maybe we'll go up one further. Um, oops, we're not going up one further. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. This, 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 com this, this is getting a bit like. Um, oh, this is a. Where's the hitbox? Where'd the hitbox go? Uh, 
for legit. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, like, I don't, I don't know. I'm probably guilty of this too. Like, I, I can't remember what on earth I said on the internet as, like, a kid. So I probably said some real, like, egregious stuff on, like, a Neopets forum somewhere. Or someone's gonna, like, rail me for this. Uh, so, best I can say is, uh, not exactly feigning ignorance, but more like, I legit don't remember, so it's just not relevant to me. Someone will be like, oh, I've grown as a person, but like, legit, I just don't remember. I say stuff on the internet and I kind of forget about it. Um, so, as long as, you know, take the internet with a grain of salt, find communities, I don't know. I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I, I feel like I had like a moral purpose. Uh, point is, I will maybe one day redeem Chugger, uh, but he's got to stop being into feet. There we go. Just, 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 the serious topic is, is, is uh, I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. <laughs> And I sure hope you enjoy this Quake 64 as I talk about real serious topics and internet drama and stuff like that. I, they're just everywhere. I'm just bailing. I'm running. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? Oh, wait. Jump into the protal and away we go. Whoosh. Very, very nice. This is it. The command core. We're already here. How insane. So we must destroy the Guardians and shut down the core. Have some stim packs. That's right, we've got four kills. You know what this means. Lots of slugs, lots of this. I love the aesthetic. We jump into the portal. And uh, yeah, that's right. The end boss is uh, like the Doom Episode 1 end boss. You're kind of just killing, like, two of these guys. Oh. We'll maze them out of that. These are the boss ones. These are the, the stronger ones. But, like, you've got such a big room to fight them. And then, uh, oh, ha hang on. Hi there. How you doing? You yeah, guys really taking a sweet time off of it. There we go. Grab a lot of goods right here. Uh, let's just get with the Hyper Blaster. I'm very confident about the Hyper Blaster as a weapon. Uh, that's right, there's a second one. Why not? But they don't have a ton of health, and then you're kind of done after a while. I love the aesthetic though. The aesthetic is very, very neat. Whoops. Looks like I'm gonna need to rail him. Well, I'll use the rockets. Shoots a little faster, does a little more damage. They nerfed the railgun in uh, this remaster, by the way. It used to actually be stronger. There's mega health as well if you needed it. Oh my gosh, explosions. Now we can leave, go up a lift. And there we go. That's Quake 60, Quake 264, not Quake 64. It's Quake 2 for the 64. Um, I, I, did, I didn't really talk about it very much, but I did really like just the variety of the levels going on. It's short, though. Somewhat because, you know, I guess you're not re well, one, I'm, I'm safe coming a bit. Uh, hi there, enemy. How you doing? You let one live. That was it. That's kind of how it ends. Um, but I appreciate they ported this. Uh, I hope they get that PlayStation version soon, but you, you get less out of the PlayStation version because it is trying to emulate the regular game's maps so much more often, whereas the, the Nintendo 64 version sort of just did its own thing just then. It's got, it's got much less to do with the regular game. Um, so yeah, and we can turn off uh, turn off the, uh, the CRT effect. Goodbye, CRT effect. And uh, I've got time, so let's jump into The Call of the Machine. Let's play it on hard as well. The Call of the Machine is a 2023 uh, remaster exclusive uh, level pack created by Machine Games. Uh, it is your goal is to deploy the Marines from the adjacent rooms to collect data and then collect all the data to open a portal to the Strog Maker. This, just like uh, Quake 1's uh, Dimension of the Machine um, from the 2021 remaster, is effectively uh, this is actually six very short episodes. They are also loving their lighting. They're gonna use this everywhere, and I love them for it as well. Um, we don't have any secrets going on, but I love this cool thing in the center here, uh, which actually has a hitbox right now, and also low gravity just to toy around with it. 
Um, this is the portal we need to create. And uh, our map consists of uh, two wings, each with three episodes to start off with. Um, you can pick them in any order, do the episodes, and uh, once you've done all six, you can then fight the final boss. We'll definitely get through one. I'll see if I can uh, do two. We'll see. But we're going to do Operation Laser Eyes. We deploy the Marine, and now you play as that Marine. All the Marines start off with the pistol, which means you start from scratch every half hour, which will be good fun. And I also love it always starts off with this, just like a crash landing onto a uh, some place. The level design will, you know, use these longer draw distances, but it sort of keeps the aesthetic of Quake 2 a lot more than the Quake 1 levels did. Um, I really, really love this level, just right off the bat. Also, these are still hubs, so there may be backtracking as well. Uh, but I love this level, and I love the kind of just direction it takes. You're obviously led to like, okay, we've got the central structure with the, uh, the iconography around the outside here, um, but you're lured into this kind of tunnel going on here. Also, uh, we've got this music coming back, so very nice. We can come up here. I think we can, can we break this or? Yeah, you can. Maybe you can fall down here later, but we've got a rebreather. Might be useful as well as also uh, a secret to find that. Very nice. Um, it sort of just lap back on itself, so not really too much gain there, but the uh, the machine gun will be nice to have there. Um, let's swim up. Oh, did I just... Oh, I, I U-turned. I U-turned. Dang it. <laughs> Shouldn't have U-turned. Um, but yeah, there's also a three... I think there's three secret levels. Um, not one in this episode, but I think the second episode, if, if I get around to it, I will have this. Hit this button, we have now uh, activated uh, this little thing. This piston, I guess. Let me swim through here. Oh, the shield, man. You can't go through here. Um, so we got this little fun platforming going on. Stand oh my gosh. There we go. You like how that works? That's good fun. I like that. Oh yeah, I can crouch again. I forgot. Very nice secret number two, sure. Uh, since I've got a weapon, I can actually shoot at these guys, which is also nice. Um, yeah. Oh, got a lot of dudes. They also... Okay, the other thing as well is that the people at Machine Games clearly have a preference for what kinds of enemies they like the most. And the answer is they like the little grunts the most because, I honestly, it is the most satisfying to go through lots of them. So they will kind of just use the regular cannon fodder for a lot of the levels and uh, leave the boss enemies for much, much later. Pressing this uh, raises the bridge. This is kind of cool because uh, that's like, okay, we drop down and we got this you know, ledges that I didn't use. We also have uh, around here a uh, shotgun, which we can leverage. Also, uh, be prepared for they're going to not give you the super shotgun for a very, very long time. But they'll get around to it. Oh, we got some flying boys. Let's see if I can get the chain gunner sort of out of commission. Oops. There we go. Uh, they, I don't think they... Off the top of my head, I don't think they invent enemy enemies. Also, it's very easy to get yourself wedged here. I, every time I play this and I always feel like, Oh, I'm going to jump right across. And then I just fail. Because I get wedged there. Um... I don't think off the top of my head they introduce any new enemies. Wink, wink, not judge. Um, so I like, okay, lasers. Okay, but we've got this pit. So let's go down into the pit. And you go down and you immediately spot, here's a lever. What does this lever do? It lowers the water level. I like a, a tad. Uh, it keeps lowering for a bit. We can now enter the security annex. <laughs> I was about to say secondary. No, security. Um, swim outside. Now we're out here. Again, we're back to where we were, but now with the water level lowered, look at that. You know, freaking, like, vector level design. It made me look towards this one guy who was on this lower ledge, and to realize, oh, look, that's the swimming area that I went through before. But now, also, I think you can actually spot that there's, like, a, a bit of platforming here. Can I actually do this? Yeah, you can. Any reason why you need to go back here? Because I think if you're pro... I don't know, that's, no, that's not a tunnel. There's probably some way to get up into there. Um, but with the water level lowered, it's like, ooh, you know, there's a bit of a new dimension to 
what's going on here. And I love that. And I'm glad these guys, you know, like, I guess, I, I was asking myself, it's like, what actually has, like, id software done in a long time? Um, and apart from Quake 2021 and Quake 2 2023, I can't think of, like, that much. It's weird, because, uh, I don't know, maybe I, I haven't played the, um, the, the, the Doom re-releases. Um, so maybe they put in a bit of effort there. And I love how, again, this is where the shotgun was just before, but... You know, now you've done stuff, let's trick in some enemies. And it's not a monster closet if it's in, well, it kind of is if it's in front of you. Um... But it's like, they're just, you know, they're just leading you to where you need to go. Because now it's like, oh yeah, the water level's drained. Oh, we got, we got a lad. We got a lad. Uh, oh. Hi there. Um, was this, yeah, this was from one of the expansions. The, the guy who fired the, um, you know, the explosive bits, so. Now we can go into this area. And, uh, now, new map, but the other one wasn't finished. We must locate the data disk inside the security annex. Is that a secret? Just chill there. Oh, nah. I thought there was something that dropped. Um, you can tell that they're like, uh, the adrenaline's for funsies. There go, lots of dudes all around. Hi there, how you doing? Not to say this is, uh, exactly, uh, easier or harder. I would generally lean on the, it's, it's a bit harder because they know, you know. The people playing the Quake 2 remaster are very likely people who have probably played the rest of the stuff. Uh, but we do have a quad damage up there, which will not activate right away. I get to choose when the quad damage is meaningful. So, we'll keep that on, on hand for the ready. I love the shadows, by the way. Just have anything moving and just go, mmm, shadows. Um, this door weirdly leads out to a, to a walkway over here, which has... I think we've got a rail gunner. Yeah, we, oh, it's not, it's not quite a rail gunner. You know, I don't mind these guys, but it's like, yeah, I can't do anything about them because, like, I'm nearly out of ammo here, and all I've got is a shotgun. Uh... Let me just get out, get the heck out of dodge there. Um... So, yeah, anything else in the news? Um... I think I might have mentioned the 40 set. We're, we got another week of hardware releases, and I... Oh, my gosh. Um, we got another week of hardware releases, and, uh... So, uh, we got the double graphics card whammy going on this, uh, this past week, uh, with the release of the 4070 Ti Super. Long name. Um, also, what was that? There was infighting and he just ran straight towards the, uh, the lasers. Very nice. I need a red key, but at least I have a super shoddy, so we got something out of it. Um... There we go, down the ladder. Oh, wow, where are they leading me? Oh, legit, where were they? Where were they? Where were they? Got some Granados. Very nice. Um, I think you can actually kind of use this to get back up if you... Yeah. It's very nice. Um, we'll keep exploring around down here because I think... Uh, I know that these are actually doors as well, so they open back up over here. Um, yeah, where do we go? Oh, we want to go up the ladder. Oh, okay. Uh, so let's talk about that 4070 Ti Super. From the, uh, from the specs... And from what I expected, the 4070 Ti Super really should have been like a sort of just a bit of a weaker 4080. Not by too much, but definitely, you know, have sort of some of the benefits of the 4080. Um, but it's stripped down a little bit, um, which makes it ideal for owners of, uh, or not owners of the 4070 Ti, but people who were in the market for a 4070 Ti. I love this, by the way. The most perfect grenade launcher placement right there. That, whoever did that props absolute kudos and then you just got like another room over here it's just like mm, mm. just oh, wonderful and a real strong guy while we're at it i think they call the elites so but it's like oh that is so so mwah, placement love whoever did that i actually wonder if the episodes were made by individuals i think they might have been uh also another quad damage i guess if you want another one a chain gun. Uh, and we got the, the key, and hi there. How you doing over there? Let's see if I can snag this guy. Um, 
in practice though, the 4070 Ti super weirdly does only do a couple of percentage points better than the 4070 Ti regular, despite being a different, you know, chip. It's the AD103 and not the AD104. What gives? Well, it turns out, I think, if I had to pin it on something, I would say the biggest problems are the, um the uh, level 2 cache. It's only 48 megs, whereas it's 64 on the uh, the 4080. Um, 48 is still the same as the 4070 Ti, and I'm really hoping that uh, nothing is actually worse than the 4070 Ti. Um, we did have some problems where an MSI uh, card, maybe actually all MSI cards, also, hi there, tons of enemies, jeez. Oh, they're very dead, they're very dead. Oh, is that a medic? And there's only like 12 medics in this game. They use them sparingly. But they do have two medics in one go. And they do drop uh, these adrenalines. So they are very, very generous when it comes to at least, hey, here's the mean enemies, but I know, I know. I love how there's still the guy behind me. I never took him out. Oh, that's a, uh, oh. Man, I don't have a, I don't have clear, clear ground at all. Just suddenly, this whole area is like danger mode right now. I love just like how how they they turn this whole area, and I'm running through the same parts again. But suddenly now it's like, yep, we just changed the entire enemy roster, and it's suddenly got a very different dynamic to the same area. Very smart. I love it. This is very very good level design. Take notes, take notes. Id Software, hire these guys. Um, so now we can locate the data disk inside the security annex. Also, I guess it's partially designed knowing that the enemies will now do like, crazy jumps. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, other thing I think also hurts the 4070 Ti super is the power target is the same as the 4080. And I think that there is a little degree of, uh, you know, that would actually kind of help a ton. Granted, the core clocks are good on the 4070 Ti Super, better than the 4080. Um, but I think the reduced amount of cores means it doesn't need as much power. Doesn't need as much power means they toned it. Well, actually, yeah, I think I think it is just the cores. Let's let's not say the power is the problem. Um, I think it is just the cores. Also, hi there. Just we got we got a we got a mixture of jamboree. Do I have? I don't really have anything to deal with them. I was hoping they could start in fighting. Ouch. Stop for the worst moment. And of course, yes, I did just pick up a CD. It is not Quake 2 without me picking up a CD on every every occasion. Um, if it feels like I'm getting items quick, just remember, uh, these are several maps. Uh, it might be... Um, ooh, yeah, this is, a, this is a very, very fun ledge. I love that. Um... I'm finding a good number of the secrets. I'm feeling good. Um, yeah, this, this is condensed because, you know, they want to have a certain, um, you know, set of items that you actually use for, the, for this campaign. Also, wow, that's a mean place to run off. Uh, but yeah, the, the 4070 Ti Super, it's not doing quite amazing in terms of its performance. Now, it's not the worst given that it's launching at 800 US dollars, the same price as the uh, existing card, um, and it is uh, a little better, but it's not a very wow card. Some people are going on about the VRAM, uh, because yes, it does have 16 gigs of VRAM, and they're going 12 gigs is not enough. Um, I will still say, as a person who is still playing on a 4070 Ti right now, um, 12 gigs is, hey, it's, it's fine for games. It, there are some games that do go overboard. There are also some games that go overboard more than 16. I've had the VRAM discussion, ages, like, it, you know, and, uh, you know, it's good to, it's good to know, it's good to think about it, it's just, like, it's controllable. Also, this guy feels taller than I remember, <laughs> I don't remember them being that tall. What's going on there? Nearly killed everyone on this map already. We've now worked our way up to the top, you hit a button, and I, I love this. Look at this, we got boss battles with health bars! <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. We just made a big version of this guy. He can break the boxes around him. Oh, oh, he's hugging my face. We haven't even seen one of these guys yet. 
This would be a great place to use that quad damage, eh? Very fun. I love it. I love it. He didn't even drop anything. He's just doing it for the good memes. And look at this! He's got his little, like, eating pen with a fan, with a shadow. Very lovely. Very, very nice. We now rock up uh, in the comms bunker. That's right, more level. Let me give you the railgun if you forgot to pick it up. Uh, because it's actually very good against these guys. We will uh, draw you in. Oh, uh, by the way, first level pitfall. Um, so these guys did this to me, and they dragged me into the pit. They dragged me into the pit, and I was like, the cheeky buggers. The cheeky lads. The absolute mad lads. Figured out a very, very novel, but kind of like, oh, okay, like, interesting way to reintroduce this character. And then I love this whole, like, bit where it's like, Okay, like you can see, you can go in there, but you can't really. You gotta shoot that button, walk back. Like, this is just sucky from running back and forth, but I love this kind of like architecture. It's good fun. And now we go back here and suddenly we got two guys down there. It's good fun. Good thing they can't run. I really do like these enemies though. But honestly, I don't know. I prefer these ones with the railgun guys because you can at least like dodge them. They're still mean, they still take a bit of heat. And uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on here? How many flying enemies? And yes, you did see 142 enemies. The last level had 92, and half of them were just like regular grunts that would just collectively, you know, turn into mist. Now we go up here. Uh, oh, we've already pressed the button, so now we can so just jump down and continue going on. Um, so yeah, so hopefully if the 4070 Ti Super goes down in price, which I did see it for 1350 within 24 hours, it unfortunately has gone back up. Um, but it's sort of sitting at like, I think I saw 1430, actually I think I saw CCPU still has it for, um, 1350. Um. Hi, yes. Oh, oh, I must have pressed the wrong button at some point. Wrong number, sorry. Uh, oh, and an inbound power up. Very nice for those who need it. Just like me with that claw damage. And I might as well burn it at some point. Because, uh, you know, you're going to lose these at the end of uh, the episode. Six episodes as well. So it actually is like, honestly, this might be just as long as the main game if you really like take it to the nth degree. Because these are longer maps as well. Um,. But yeah, no, I love that they've put in the effort to make these remasters great and have lots of cool stuff in them. Uh, I wish I had grenades, so I guess we'll just go on the super shot. I should really change the, the title of the stream at some point. I was I was half expecting, like, yeah, I'd make two for the 64 would be quick, but I didn't expect to be, like, fully done with it right away. Um, yeah, 4070 Ti Super, uh, it's not a... A wow card it's a it's it's a fair card um with the price drops it might be okay although we're also seeing 4070 ti's go for price drops because they're on clearance now they're not making more of them stores want to have new stock what was that rebound shot Did you just see that rebound right there um so my grain of salt is uh don't consider them until the price definitely comes to compete with 4070 ti's depending on your local market because uh Oh, can I trick more of them to walking into the lasers? Come on, come on. That, well, I guess that works too. <laughs> can I trick him into walking into the lasers? That'd be fun. Um, on the flip side, we have the 7600 XT from AMD releasing at the exact same date, but I think the review embargo was either later or people did not care as much about the 7600 XT. And honestly, uh, the announcement was kind of unglamorous. Basically, uh, AMD said, yeah, it's coming. What's different about it? Uh, it's... The core's a bit... Well, we've got 16 gigs of VRAM and the core clock's a little higher. Uh, in games, that means the, uh, expected 2% performance boost. Uh, it really doesn't mean a ton unless your game is VRAM limited. Now, the honest question, and I, I mentioned this at the end of the last stream, is does, uh... Does the 8 gigabytes of VRAM become a problem before the general card performance becomes a problem? Uh, that is the same problem with the uh, 4060 Ti as both the 8 gig and the 16 gig models. 
um, to some degree, uh, it becomes even worse of a prospect on on a the uh, the Sevy 600 because that card is not 600 Australian dollars and has a retail price of I think like actually I think it's less now right hopefully it is um, yeah I think it's less I'm gonna go with 600 we'll just say it's 600 Australian dollars um, the uh, also the game does auto save at some points they they did plot out some auto save uh, bits what a weird what a weird vent. Why is that there? Why do I need to vent? Something, something, sussy. Ha ha ha. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, I'm getting myself turned around. Uh, that's where I started ish. This laser wasn't active, so therefore this laser is active, which means I go this way. There we go. I figured out where I'm going. Um, so, again, again, here am I giving NVIDIA the free pass, uh, but not AMD. I know, I know. Um, but to be honest as well, I think these cards with the extra VRAM are much more meaningful uh, to two kinds of people. One of which we don't quite know yet, which is, will games really need the 8 gigabytes of, or more than 8 gigabytes of VRAM before they, um, there you go, very nice, uh, before they uh, slow enough, um, you know, we might have that problem, we had that problem with the 3070, there were a couple of games that had that. Um, are they meaningful to you as a person? Depends if you're going to play those games. Um, then comes the other angle of, well, is the, you know, is it useful for uh, AI stuff? Are you running, you know, language models or, you know, image models or that kind of stuff? Uh, and to that, I would definitely say, yes, actually. These 8 gigabyte cards are honestly not enough because we are very, very pushing into some fun... Uh, large language model uh, business. Also, I, I love this like shoot the button again and again and then write this outside while this guy look at him go Woo! This guy is a pain to keep accurately going for because he keeps Wandering all over the shop and then now you're on the platform and whoops 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 <laughs> whoops uh, I, I would definitely say yeah if you're doing like Neural net stuff. Not saying, you know, don't feel bad if your card doesn't have 16 gigs of VRAM. Um, but certainly, the more the better. And uh, if you want to get into that kind of stuff, these cards with more VRAM, unironically, are actually the better cards for you to be using. Because there are way more use cases where, I mean, in theory, yes, you can swap memory to the, the graphics card, but it's very slow kind of power hungry while you're at it as well if you ever do like stable diffusion you're running over um over memory consumption it's like yep you will really really feel that um i appreciate nvidia oh come on come on come run it run into the run into the lasers come on come on i never get them to do it um oh oh gosh i'm getting sucked wow that's a mm. two for two guys two for two the really mean enemy placement yet again i love it have you noticed as well they have not been using the shield versions? The ones with the laser shields that you gotta use the the, the hyperblast of the beat? They are not spamming them. They will use them, but they don't spam them. Because the fun of the enemy comes from its actual like attack pattern and design here. This is uh, now a central-ish point of the hub, which is uh, this kind of thing. <laughs> this pedestal. Uh, but yeah, uh, so we'll, we'll come back to this um, later on as we just orbit around trying to take out more enemies because we've taken out like close to half. I feel like this ammo pack just in case you, you still need it. Uh, dish, miss, aligned. Hit the CD. We now have the CD. So here we go. Oop. And, uh, here's a problem, uh, they ain't aligned. They're misaligned, as, as according to the sign. So now you got a key card. Go, go, you know, go commit acts with your, with your key card. So now we bail off, we go through the door, and we continue on our hub. I feel like they really want me to use the quad damage right now. Well, let's just do it. Let's just burn the quad damage right here. That's a lot of dudes. This is a great place for quad damage, ain't it? 
Um, but yeah, no, legit, I, I feel like there is a purpose for the 7600 XT because I feel like there are certainly use cases that you want more graphics memory. Uh, also, if you're a content creator, you do stuff with uh, Blender or um, you know, Unreal, I feel like that kind of stuff is nicer because you will obviously use more memory in the, you know, the, the design, the workload, that, that kind of stage, as opposed to the actual finished product, which ideally should try to keep it as lean as it can. I feel like there's too many games nowadays that, you know, aren't lean, and uh, too many people think they need a ton of memory, when really it's like, no, it's, it's some real bad use cases. More is always better, but also faster is generally the nicer thing. I think faster has more use cases, and this is the point in time that I get to rip on NVIDIA, because they did not make the, the cards are slower in memory. Um, ADA has generally slower memory buses than Ampere for at least the same price cards. Uh, that's pain. I know the 4090 is faster, yes, but the 4080 is slower than the 3080s. Both of them. Both, both the 12 gig and the 10 gig versions. The 4070 Ti starts to get hilarious, and by the time you get to the 4060 Ti, I'm like, man, you know, like, I liked, I, I didn't like the slower memory bus on the, the, um, oh, check it out, BFG. Um, I didn't like the slower memory bus on the 3060. Some people would talk about the 12 gigs of VRAM on that. Um, but I'm like, oh, check it out, we're back in this level. Now with a BFG. Proceeds to keep using the super shoddy. Now we've kind of got like a full arsenal of weapons, and for reference as well, yes, there are DLC, or DLC, expansion weapons, which, uh, we have not gotten yet, and... What a jump! What a lad! That was a, that was a good jump. Golf clap. Golf clap that one. Uh, but yeah, yeah, there, there are people who will use the VRAM, and I can 100% say the, the cards are for that. Will the game players need the VRAM? That is an unanswerable question right now. We will not know until there are enough games that now we will truly know. Or enough time passes without enough games that we know it wasn't necessary. Uh, I also like this pathway back into this room. Um, you gotta you gotta answer the questions about like where these, these pathways go, but I like how it is very well led. Oh look, another quad damage. Guess what we might need? Um, Use the machine gun. Because then uh, they open this door. Oh, we got a big guy. And then in behind you is like 50 just like little dudes. Every single doorway. Oh, even the medics as well. We got we, we got some pro medics. So I, I, you know, again, quad damage, telegraph it, you know, good stuff. And then just have some fun. Even if, you know, it's ultimately not that tricky. It's just like... We just wanted to toy around with a monster closet. That's it. And I applaud them. Good fun. Good fun. Uh, so now we're up on this ledge. Oh, it's a ladder. I'm looking at it going, what is going on there? It's a ladder. Yes, that, by the way, that was uh, like medic number two. He didn't even get much uh, much chance to revive people, did he? Another BFG. Lots of BFGs. I think every... I want to say all the all the uh, episodes have a BFG somewhere in them. But I like how they get to chuck like these bigger enemies at us as well. And these guys with the lasers who are clearly going to hit this guy. And if I wasn't shooting him, they would have like aggroed. But... Oh look! The ones with the shields! We did it, Reddit. We have the ones with the shields. Let's get that hyper blaster out because uh, at least if they don't spam it, you can actually like, like deal with it. Uh, I love how like how much verticality we've like had over here as well. We're just using it all over the shop. I think uh, <laughs> it's a little bit gutsy, but there might be something over here. Now I think about it. That wall. Bush. Really? Come on, guys. It's unused space. Come on. Someone's trying to be like, oh, you just didn't shoot like the right thing. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I failed you. Ah, oh, look at these little dudes. You know they're like, okay, it's like, come on. 
Use it for fun, fun sake. Is it stuck on the floor? Very nice. Very nice. That's every kill, by the way. Ah. This is one part I don't quite like about the level design, is it doesn't quite know how to guide you back the best. So they sort of get you to just like drop here, which is I, I guess that's actually why that's there. But it's like yeah, you just have to kind of know that like you know go back the way you came, and like actually the way you came as well. This is not like yeah, that's not like any fudging doorway. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh, just the bajillion giblets. It's a sight to behold, because we were at, like, what, night? Oh my gosh, let's, hold on, let's, let's reload that. I could, oh, if I had that, I would, I would do that. Um, let's use a grenade launcher. We're at 90 kills when I loaded the map. Try to, try to guess. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a blender, a blender game right now. Try to guess how many enemies I'm eviscerating this very, like, bit, and the moment we're done with, like, this blob of enemies, and I've lost all my health again. <laughs> We're done. That was 25 kills. Just <laughs> that was good fun. I love it. If only I had the melee weapon from the other one. It's just like, I don't know. There's lots of like fun little pathways and vantage points all over. Whoever worked on this stuff, it's great. I'm not going to have... 100% glowing praise of every single bit of uh, level design here, but I certainly feel like the leftmost episode has a uh, you know, some very very neat and fun segments. And I love how we're back here, and it's like, yeah, you know, if you really wanted to like use that adrenaline, you know, now's a good opportunity to miss landing on the ledge again. It's like, how do you not see this as well? It's like, ah, uh, you know, gotta have some easier secrets. Uh, so we're going this? No, we're not. We're going back up the way we came. Follow the enemies. Apparently. Somehow. Well, I guess that, like, leads me back here, but, like... Oh, just press button. Push button! Ooh, ooh! <laughs> uh... Let's get over the, the rockets. Why not? Oh, they got shields now. Oh, gosh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Tank enemy. Hey there, how you doing? It's been like ages since we've seen you. We did not fight him with a BFG last time. Oh, we did that. De definitely did not do that. We did not fight him with a BFG last time, so. <laughs> Mega health here does help a bit. Though. Hey, it's not that bad when you got a BFG. Very nice. Up the lift, up the lift, and away we go. Uh, so upcoming this this upcoming week is the 4080 Super, and then we'll be done with graphics cards. But we will have some uh, CPUs at some point, apparently. So hi there. Oh, just big lad. Just a big lad at the end. Um, my predictions for the 4080 Super is I'm not expecting a ton out of it. There's not a lot of more cores. Um, you're also not getting a lot of other features out of it. Um, but it is just like, hey, you know, the binning's a little better and they're offering it at a much lower price, and it's RP at least, to the cards before. This has resulted in 4080s tanking in price. You can find a 4080 new for 1500 Australian as opposed to the like 1800 it was for the longest time and 2219 2219 when it launched there we go we have done it and that is the episode stand by for further instructions there we go what a fun little episode right there half an hour good stuff that is the first episode Let's sneak another one in, because I expect the other ones might uh, sneak on a little longer, so I think time-wise it might be good. Let's go to the second one, The Wastelands.
Do I remember off the top of my head where the secret level is on this one? If it is, Truth Strike Data Disc. I should have really, uh, but, uh, I think I know this one, but I'm just going to double check just before I go on. Uh, Call of the Machine Secrets. Because I really don't want to miss the secret levels, and I only planned for one of these, and I don't know if I'm doing these in order. Call of the Machine Secrets. We're in the Wastelands. Oh, did that just open Steam? Dang it. I don't want the Steam app, unless that will open up the, the bit. We'll get to it. We'll have that. I must steam prompt me with a password. Community! Oh! It can load up the community guide. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, we're in, um, Wastelands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I know this one. I think I do. Cool. We start off. We got a machine gun. I didn't, I didn't use the... Oh, I did use the claw damage a couple of times. I didn't use the invuln. Um, I love this kind of outside area we got going on here. Again, the crash landing pod. I guess that's the, the consistent theme. I wish I could jump a little further up here, but that's okay. We also got this fun little staircase up here, which leads up into, uh, oh, I guess where I want it to end up. Oh, cool. Okay. Got a nice staircase over there. Eh, it's okay. They're attracting us into this hallway, which is a bit dark. Uh... For reference as well, uh, the flashlight, which was part of, uh, the other DLC, uh, the other expansion, the first expansion, um, The Reckoning, uh, will show up at some point. But it wasn't needed in the last, uh, episode, so... We didn't use it there. I guess you're probably gonna get tired of, like, going back from square one with your items all the time, so... That is always a, a fear of this. Um, yeah, I, I don't expect the 4080 Super to be particularly groundbreaking, uh, compared to the 4080. Um, but since, you know, like the, the, the 4070 Ti Super, also, yes, they did just chuck a big guy right off the bat. Like, I've only got a shotgun. Um, given that they're, like, either price equivalent or, um, you know, like, you know, they're replacing these cards. Uh, then, you know, I, I give it a little more of a, of a pass. Um, just a little more, not like a ton more, but just like, you know, uh, uh, in inevitably you'll see on the market not the original cards, you'll just get the, the Super variants. Um, you also still see that for the 4070 Super. I gotta be careful because, like, I'm, I'm already, like, scrounging on health, but I just want to take that guy out and then hope that I can take this lad while grabbing some armor shards? Okay. We've got a lot of ominous hallways here. Very ominous. I'd greatly appreciate that little, little tiny bit of health. Oh no, I didn't listen. Dang it, his, his gun was checked in. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't believe, uh, the 7600 XT is weird right now, and, and granted, the 7600 itself is weird right now, because it's more expensive than the 4060 here in Australia. Like a rocket launcher, that would've been convenient a little bit ago. Um, yeah, 4060 is cheaper right now than the 7600, and, uh, I keep mentioning, this is a weird spot for AMD to be more expensive than the, a uh, than the NVIDIA competitor, even if they do outperform it in rasterization. Uh, NVIDIA now gets to say, oh, look at all these features we have. And AMD is just brute forcing. It draws more power and does more performance. Which is not the angle I think the fanboys on Reddit uh, would have played the CPUs. So seeing the graphics cards uh, have to be played down that angle of like, you know. I, I, I'm not saying it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily true. Because I think like, you know, the ray tracing performance is fairly alright on these cards as well. But it's not a... it's not Ada levels, I guess. There we go, we got a little system error. Uh-oh. I love this sequence right here. This freaking glass window breaks open. And then you go through and you gotta shoot these, uh... These bits. Shoot them down. And then, and then I love, like, oh, look at all these fellas who just popped in right behind you. Very, very nice. Very fun. 
duck out as well. Uh, let's go this way. I see it. Can I just go for it? Very nice. Very nice. Ooh, very nice. Shout out, by the way, because I know very occasionally, um, there are- Oh, here's a- here's a new enemy, by the way. Uh, actually, is this- is this a new enemy? I think it is, actually. They fire, like, the different lasers. I think they've got a little- a teeny little bit more health. But they're- they're meant to be, like, a little bit stronger, so they're not, like, the exact same. You'll see them mixed in all over the shop with the other enemies, so, uh, be prepared to just encounter them. But that's okay, because they're not that strong, and again, they got a dodgeable attack. But it does drag your energy shield down if you ever see that. I that they weren't in the, uh, the first bit. I thought they were, they were in the, um, use the computer to print the key pass. Oh, hi there, medic. How you doing? Don't, don't, don't bring him. Don't do it, don't do it. Good. That's good you didn't. Stay down, boy. Ah, oh, they gave him the shield. Come on. Come on. Get it. Get, get past the shield. I wish I could reliably shoot past the shield, but alas. Here we go. Junkyard location acquired. We are lo locating the junkyard. And we got a little security pass. Which is very neat. You picked up the key pass. Thanks, game. I appreciate that. So now we must find the power cube for the uplink tower. Okay, sure. Um, that's a good sound when you hear it. You just hear like the gun checking in from somewhere. Uh, well, this this looks familiar, doesn't it? Yeah. There was more um more platforming over in that direction as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Hardware's still cool though. I I I I mean I still do like. This isn't a... Nope. That's a, that's a precarious spot, ain't it? Okay, cool. I'm glad I've, I've explored that. I've realized, yes. We don't need to go there. Um, but yeah. Uh, Hardware's in a pretty cool spot. I'm, I'm still expecting cool stuff out of 2024. Um, but we'll see. But, uh, you know, I, I like these releases so far. Um, even if, yeah, the 4070 Ti is kind of weird right now, um, one day it will be cheaper than the 4070 Ti. Um, for now, it is certainly a lot cheaper here in Australia than its launch price. Seriously, that's already down 90, uh, 10%. Not 90%, it's 10%. Uh, as in, it started at 1500, it is now 1350. And costs less than a lot of other 4070 Ti's, so. What should you buy? Whatever you think you need. That's the important thing. I don't think it's, uh, you know, like, there's some degree of, like, future-proofing in the sense of don't buy what will be obsolete uh, in a couple of years. Uh, at, for your use case, that is. And if you don't know, you can't plan for it, but... Eh. Don't, get, don't get too strung up over it. I do wish there was more health on this map, though. I do remember struggling even now. Well, oh, now, because it is now. Um, but, like, I remember struggling, uh, like, when I first played it, and I was really, like, copping it a lot around here. Whereas that first, the first episode, I'm like, ah, that was gold. Um, so, yeah, uh, but we'll get there. Um, hold on, let me just double check my secrets map so I'm not, like, going too far off the rails. Uh, Wastelands, still in the first level. Yes, it's the second map. The second map has the has the um <laughs> the secret level exit. The secret levels are like very curious in this one. Oh, hi there. Do I have a machine gun? I do have a machine gun. Nice. I like a quad damage. That would have been convenient a little bit ago. It's, it's always convenient a little bit ago. Uh, I guess we'll just go down here. We go through the door. This is a fun atmosphere with the freaking like... I was gonna say Neptune. Yes, the Neptune back there. I mean, technically, you know, it, it could be whatever planet, but... Saturn is a very iconic planet because of just, like, the density of those rings. And the number of rings. 
I appreciate this guy is just eating all my ammo. I could have done this as well. You could you could actually do that, and that w that might actually kill them. Curious light. Oh, oh. Hey, hey. I'm glad I spotted that one. Very nice. Very very nice. This looks like a fun time to tran... Oh, no, I was going to do the transition. It was not a fun time to transition. This is a fun room, ain't it? Power cube release activated! Love. Again, lighting tweaks. So good. We got the rumbling. We got the, the you know, the dark lighting. The guards all over the shop. Very, very fun. Um, I will definitely say, you know, you don't need tons of VRAM to play this game. This still runs like a dream, even uh, while looking as stylistically fun as possible. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's the that's the vibe, I guess. Like, to me, old games a lot. I, I unfortunately do a lot of, like, neural net stuff and technology stuff on the side. And then, I guess all, all my graphics card uses is generally a lot more productivity-centric. Um, so when I get into games, it's like, well, you know, it's a nice byproduct, but technically the productivity is, uh, more what I lean towards, so uh, follow the pipes. Because you can't leave, so we must follow the pipes. Wherever they've gone, where's the pipes? Um, sometimes I feel like a, you know, oh, oh hi there! I was like, oh my gosh. I love these guys. Well, Geronimo! Train position. Very, very nice. Heavy water. We must find and destroy the reactor core to disable the shields. This is a neat level. I do remember this one. Because we got uh, these guys from... You remember? From uh, from The Reckoning. I missed them. We got this, this whole map full of like these mutant guys. I'm like, you know what? That's a fun change in pace. Because, like... Those mutant guys, for reference, I'm very certain uh, The Reckoning had one of these, and Ground Zeroes had none of them. They were so criminally underused. I get why the, the two expansions don't have the same, uh, you know, like, enemies and stuff between them. They're developed independently and, uh, you know, they can't leverage any of that. Sure, okay. But, yeah, it's like, man, you know, like... The, that was a base game enemy, and you just didn't use it. Both of them didn't use it. Instead, what did they think was good? Medic spam. Enemies that spawn things. Turrets. You know what I've gone so far? No turrets. I know, cause it's like... <laughs> we've only done this for an hour. Error! Only one gate can be open at a time. It's like, oh, okay. I think actually this is a... Uh, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Where are we going? I guess we gotta go this way. <laughs> Look at these guys chilling. When have we ever seen them not be aggroed right away? Again. Look at, look at him, he's thick. Very, very nice. Um. <laughs> Me, me talking about Chugga Conroy, explicit comments are not allowed, also me... I don't know, I don't know. Listen, it's context. It's all about context. I love, I love the, the decor in this room, just, like, spinning machinery is always good fun. And then also, like, oh look, we got the little spider thing back, we got, like, another one of these dudes. Jumping all over the place. Is that the um, grenade launcher? Do we have one? I guess we already have one. <laughs> Most of the arsenal. Don't have energy weapons yet though. Or chain gun, I think. No. <gasps> I love how you can see these like rub against sometimes. So like they they do. Well, it's all. Always... I should really be looking where I'm. Where I'm you know, gonna get from. I don't know. I'm so intrigued by decor. I'm an interior decorator. <laughs> We've got this little pathway up here which uh, lets you 
fall into the tube uh, where we now have to swim past the elusive fans and destroy the core thing. I'm still kind of stuck under here. But uh, it lowers the energy shields, allowing us to swim through a hallway and... Oh my gosh, that's the flashlight! Here comes uh, everyone's favorite part of the level design, which is uh, we made all these guys in a swimming section with really claustrophobic tunnels. You're constantly just like trying to navigate, going all over this place. Oh, by the way, did you remember as well? They did not use the fish in the expansions either. Criminally under underused, the fish. Just make sure you breathe like every so often because you're going to need it. Hi there, fish! Oh, hold on, hold on, fish. Oh, oh, now I can, oh, hold oh, no. Breathe! There we go. You're gonna need a rebreather right now, so make sure you just use that and you don't have to, don't have to think about it. Keep checking in case they hide something up there. But like, you know, I, I love this just like, completely different level design going on right here. You got these, like, these dudes, they got another rebreather if you need a, a second one, because this area keeps going. Oh, look at them popping down! How cool is that? Seriously, these people, like, know and care about Quake 2 enough to, like, make these cool levels. Uh, I think I might be clean to get to the end. Not at all. Not with that distance. But we do have a quad damage. Oh, okay, I guess. Time to press the button. Oh, only one gate can be open at a time. Funny how we've circled back here, though. I love how the, um, the enemy count's actually fairly conservative as well. It's not a very large number of enemies. But now as we go back around here, well, at least we got rid of these. These lasers. They're in the pipes, they're in the pipes. Excuse to pop open every pipe they can see. But yeah. Ah, oh, dude. Legit. For the last, like, two expansions, I think I've just been talking about getting exhausted. It's just like, oh, here I am going through hallways after hallways. The same enemies over and over again. And yet, somehow, we feel fresh. Pro I don't know. I don't know how they do it. <laughs> um, but they, they do manage to make, like, all these enemies and stuff feel quite fresh again. I think it's just because the level design is a lot more iconic. You're not dealing with as many claustrophobic corridors, and instead, it's a bit more free reign. You can run around, um, the enemies still don't quite permit you to, like, run around and bunny hop like crazy degrees. Um, by the way, uh, spot something very important. Oh, hi there. How you doing? <laughs> uh, let's get the rockets out. Oh. He knew as well. around these fellas. Oh. Yeah, I'm okay using this. I've been picking up plenty of this ammo. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, so, I, it is it is my knowledge that the secret area is right there, and I just want to double make sure that, like, I'm not about to, like, jump right over it. Uh... Yeah, oh, no, it's, it's literally, like, there. <laughs> okay. Cool. So you can push that, which opens a door. That door is here. That allows you to shoot the panel. It then opens, and here we go. A secret area. All these secret levels are just like little side cuts, but like they do cool level design things. This is McGee Station. This is American McGee. I love you, my man. Uh, all of these are like little fun challenges, but I love this like ice hallway. Also, they give you all these items. Put you in the dark, and uh, they're all trials as well. So now the lights are out. The lights are back on. We got Teslas, you know, from the expansion that it was underused in. But like, what a what a like fun idea visually to just like keep cutting the power and all these conveyor belts stop. And then they all come back on and stuff like that. And also you can see that maybe there's something. Oh, I don't know, probably nothing that way. 
Also, the flashlight is automatic in this one. I'm not thinking about it. Although, I think there is a button for it, but, uh... I sh yeah, I think maybe a button. But, uh, I don't know, you don't have to think about it. But, oh my goodness. Guys, this is what we were waiting for. This is what I was going, hey, I gotta play Quake 2 just for this. I gotta play it, just, just to show you guys how cool this is. I'm still in the blue key, I'm still holding on to the power core. Um, all these secret levels are very self-contained, it's not gonna yell at you if you do it out of order. Um, Oh, duh. Duh. Power. Duh. I got a blue key. Hop back over the bit. And we can go through the door. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Everyone dodged that first one. Wow. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, where am I going to jump from? Because... You can't see anyone anymore. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's it's just it's it's just so fun having it feel fresh again. They made Quake 2 feel fresh. Put that on the box art. Put that. You know, being as says, they make Quake 2 feel fresh because that's that's the joy. That's this is. I mean, I felt the same about Quake 2021, and I feel the same about this. It's just. You know, you just gotta revitalize it, and I think a lot of it is just in regards to throwing a bit more... Like, not saying, you know, modern game design, but like, what are some, like, things that you've seen in other games in the past 25 years? Just throw something like that in there. I don't care that there's a bajillion enemies! It's a secret level! That is a lot of, a lot of enemies, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Just chilling right there. They're all just regular dudes as well, because they go, hmm, you know. It's very fun to just clear off crowds of enemies, and so we've got the hardware to do it now. But I, I love it, I love it. Mwah, mwah. Oh, <laughs> I love that! Ah. Let's drop a Tesla on them. I think they're getting tesla -ed. Yeah, shouldn't really... Do a ton, but it's all work. There we go. At 66, I did not uh, find the secrets, I guess. But uh, but at least you leave with some good stuff. So. Now we can exit. The trial is complete. We can now just leave. Where would the secrets be? Oh well. But yeah, it just spits you back out, like right where you were. So. We'll just resume this level like nothing had happened at all. Um, so, okay, so we needed to press one of these. Manual release required, that's right. Okay, now we need to retrieve the Strog Data Disk, but this supply station unlock switch is probably what we need. So now we go down here and I'm pretty sure, hey, look at that supply station. I love how the scene is set up. You go, hmm, well I can't exit out this way. So let's go around here. It's a bit too quiet. And suddenly just like everything is just like, oh look, there it is. Yeah, I swear, are there bigger versions of these guys? Are they using bigger versions? I'm not using bigger versions of uh, those guys, I'll tell you that. Um, but yeah, ah, oh, they're so good, they're so good. I love them. I'm just gonna gush about this level design forever. If it wasn't for oh hi there, if it wasn't for the fact that I played uh, the the Nintendo 64 levels, that's one strange. By the way, these guys go almost unused. The shield versions of these fine guys. Get him, aggro him, aggro. You're not aggroing. Guess you gotta do it yourself. Also, again, they have the fan with a shadow. It's very, very fun looking. I love it. That's two fans as well, isn't it? Yeah. Dual fan action. Very nice. Very nice. Look at that environment suit. Almost as if I need to swim through poop at some point. Uh. Given how many of these swamp enemies are around, maybe. 
For now, oh, another, another room. Oh, another shield. But, uh, you might notice where we are. We're on the other side. Now with the other... The other vat and the other lever. Very, very nice. Uh, also... A... I was hoping. I was hoping. <laughs> do, 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 Yep. Can I need to activate the poop? And it's, it's all blocked off, so I don't feel like you had to go into it. You close it off. Get the heck out of Dodge. Maybe grab another environment suit if you think you need it. Yeah. Just gotta do that, I guess. Oh, okay. And now we make our way back to the other side. Which they've conveniently opened up. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. I'm really enjoying this. It's good fun. And I'm glad... I'm glad light at the end of the tunnel, because I think Quake 2's expansions are probably a lot more, uh... Mid, as some people would would uh, describe it. Uh, oh my gosh, let me go up here. So, there we go. Now we just make our way out because we've done all the goals. For the most part. And it's clean water, don't worry. Don't worry, they made it clean. Out through the tunnels. And into, uh, one of my favorite, like, levels here. The junkyard. Which is, uh, oh, okay, we're in the water. Uh, we're gonna need to make sure we keep breathing again. But we got the flashlight on. And we gotta search the junkyard for the Strog Data Disc. Lots of just corridors and... Kind of mean... Grenade launcher guy placements. Uh, oh boy. Oh boy. I guess I've used the laser gun on these guys for the railguns overkill. Swimming back through. I assume this is gonna loop back, but then. Oh, okay. Okay. It's a left or right, or a left or forward, rather. Nothing too mysterious about that. And we swim on through. I like this as well, we got an up and an over path. Or up above and under. And the under path says fish! The above path just says more dudes. Check this out, that's a new enemy! Ain't it? Yeah! They made a very strong version of these. Well, he didn't have a ton of health, but he's got the shield and he did some moves you never saw before. Check that out, very neat. Very, very neat. Uh, I'm gonna go up this very dingy ladder. I appreciate as well they chose to not, like, do music here. I know you can sort of cheese this jump. Hold on, I know you can cheese this jump. I know you can cheese this jump. We'll do it one more time. One more time and then just... Yeah. Okay. Maybe I should rocket jump it. <laughs> Actually, yeah, hold on. Legit. Nah, nah, you end up back here at some point. Let's not cheese it, let's do what the level design is intended for. Just like using technicals that rarely came up in the uh, expansions again. Yeah, yeah, here you go, like this is painfully obvious. Wow, look at that. Also, there's a hole here? That's a secret, but then there's a hole. Where does the hole go? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. They just spawned more fish. Just back here again. Also mysterious doorways that may or may not lead anywhere. Check that out. Woo! Already got a railgun, but listen, it's a, it's a it's a present for someone. It's just not for me. Climbing up the ladder and the ladder we go. We're going up the ladder. This is technical stuck in my pipe. I'm in your pipes, I'm in your pipes. Let's free him. I freed you, poor technical. I love this garbage pile as, as well, because you know it's like, that's a fresh texture right there. But like, thematically it doesn't look too far off. Quake 2 with some strong color tinting. You know, like, what's this like... You know, harsh cave kind of environment with just like... Sandy dunes, possibly like, a structure. 
Let's have a boss fight. Why not? Uh, and uh, this is uh, an original boss. He's here. He fires rail guns. He floats around. You can tell he's got the, the machine guns going on there. Okay, you get, you're getting kind of absurdly far away now. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to whip out the big guns on you. We still got Saturn in the back. Come back down here. What are you doing? Oh, excuse me. My favorite, my favorite enemy strategy: just spawn freaking ants on me. He's just spawning ants. Get out of there. I don't have anything better. Railgun is not as fast, but I guess it does deal damage. Still ants all over the shop. Ants in my pants. <laughs> Hopefully these ants aren't, aren't all over the shop because I need to keep looking up. There you go. Wonderful reign of giblets. Still gotta deal with the ants. Made too many ants. Someone's like, what kind of ants look like this? Australian ants, apparently. Also, like most spawned enemies, they are not part of the kill counter, as you will see in one second. They're not part of the kill counter. So, there's no value in getting him to make a bajillion. It's a fun environment. I should have really used the BFG. That would have been easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> That's okay. Crawl out. And, uh, oh, there's a mega health as well. They throw everything up of here. There we go. There you go. Still plenty of enemies left on this level, but uh, killing him opens this door, which uh, leads us into the goodies section of the game. Or at least the level. Oh, look, another railgun in case he needed it. Did you see? We had new enemies. I love this room. There's just something, like, cozy about it. Even though they did use the dudes with lasers. They- Cardinal Sin. That is the dudes with lasers. Give me an example. That is the dudes with lasers. But, you know what? He's got a fence in front of him. And it's very easy to stand in a spot where you're not under attack from him. And you see them up there and it provides, you know, a little bit of urgency. If you're missing the enemies, you're gonna, you know, get hit from the lower floors going up. But, like, here it's like, oh, it's a lot easier to dodge them because there's stuff to dodge them with. You've got pillars. Because, like, also, these guys, the, the logic is, like, I'm going to stop caring if I can't see you. Did I just spawn a guy below me, or...? Nah. He's still above. It's all good. Hi hey there. How you doing? Alright, this is going to be interesting. Hey! I did not ask for the technicals. I did not ask for them, but sure, okay. Kablooey. Kablooey again. Oh, no, that's Kablooey. <laughs> Just constantly getting hit by the technical fire. Dude, my double shotty is sort of like my just comfort weapon in like so many of these old shooters. You just run up to an enemy, smack him in the face. Very nice. And, you, and then you duck off. It sounded like there was one more technical just chilling around, but... My, hey, 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 hey! That's... that's illegal. You know what? I'm gonna need to punish you with that. Double Tesla. Which is actually good at taking out these guys. Or at least the things they deal with. Because suddenly, like, everything that spawns just keeps getting annihilated by it. Holy crap, did you see that? An actual use for the Tesla. So now we need to locate an uplink tower. We're nearly done with this level. Oh my gosh, what's with the... <laughs> oh, my eyes! <laughs> so that going on here? One enemy left in the level. What could it possibly be? The jerks. <laughs> 
I said there were 12 of like one of the mechs, I forgot which one. But they don't use it like anywhere near as much, and honestly, like, that's a fun placement. At least more fun than just like constantly like giving me monster closets, because it's like it's in front of me. I'm seeing him, and I'm seeing the kind of turmoil he's doing instead of just here's a room, it's not cleared out anymore. Have fun. And they're like spawning stuff right around like the corner and you just can't see it happening. So now we're back into the uplink tower map. You know, from the beginning of time. Yeah, I love that we're back here now. And uh, oh, oh, hi, hi. We threw another medic in just for funsies. We got a commander. Which just kind of looks like a regular dude. And in fact, it somewhat is, because look how quick he is with the BFG. I'm not even using the quad damage, and perhaps I should have. Oh! Oh! Never mind! Never mind, this game sucks, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it, I just, I just dealt with him. Where's his health bar now? Oh my gosh, no, there's still more of them. There's still more of them. <laughs> no! Don't do this to me, medic. Don't do this. Okay, now I'm I'm mad. I'm just like going through trying to make sure there's no like lingering medics anywhere. Cause you jerk on wheels. You have betrayed my trust, medic. They betrayed my trust ages ago. I should probably actually use the quad damage at this point. Yeah, I mean there wasn't really much to that. So there you go. So now, let's uh, pop CD in the uplink tower, which is uh, that tower. Right here. Pop the, the, oh sorry, not the CD, the thing. Now the door is open, allowing us to walk up some stairs. And push the thing, transfers the data disk, and we're done. Very, very nice. So that is two of the Quake Call of the Machine episodes uh, done. We've still got one more in this wing, and then there's another three over there. And then on top of that, you don't know what they're going to end with. Corpse Run is next, but we shall save the game. And actually do a save the game. Let's, let's do a proper new save there. Save the game. And I think we're good. So thank you so very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed my rambling, and I promise we're, we're going to lean off of a uh, YouTuber culture, unless apparently every single person who I looked up to has apparently got uh, some skeletons in the closet. And one day, it'll be you and me. I don't know, one day. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, if, if you enjoyed the rambling or you hated the rambling, you can uh, follow here on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube where you'll see the VODs uh, sometime. Oh, I forgot to mention, YouTube, when I first uploaded the VOD last week, um, it just never finished processing, or started processing, but also the video is there in HD, and it doesn't show up on my video's feed. So I re-upload it again, so it's there. But, uh, for those who have the old link, it's, it's still processing to this day, so. Anyway, stay safe, eat your greens, um, yeah, th just, just, I don't know, <laughs> YouTube's gonna have a field there, we're gonna, bro, you just, you mentioned all the bad words. I know, I know, so. Anyways, peace. Have a good one.